Slam that like button if you love cookies. I love cookies. I'll slam the like button. Mmm, delicious. In this video. Question is, um, you're gonna buy me the new iPhone, right? Wait, what? No, easy. I just bought you a new iPhone two months ago. I know, but a new one came out and I absolutely need it. It has a slightly better camera. And my phone case won't work, so I need a new phone case. Uh-oh. Mom! Mom, I want to buy this game on Roblox and I need more Robux. What did you spend your Robux on in one day? Um, well, uh, um, you know, just a bunch of stuff. Why are you standing on the table, baby Kira? It's like I've raised a bunch of animals. You both, all of you, 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 and you are spoiled, spoiled, and also little miss spoiled. Ooh. We're not spoiled, we're just, well, um, we have money. Yeah, mom, we have some money. Correction, I have some money and so does it your dad. You're the kids, so you have no money because you haven't earned it. Mom! That was the longest day of school ever. <gasps> Thank goodness I'm home at my mansion. Ah, I'm gonna just chill, maybe get in the pool, you know. Hey, somebody let me in. The security system doesn't seem to be working. Hello? Hello? Oh, my family just bought this house, and for some reason, the security system just doesn't work for me. Thank you, baby Kiwa Jeepers. My little baby sister had to let me into my own house. <laughs> but this is my new house and it's amazing. I love it. Hey, how was school today? It was good. Um, but mom, are you going to make us go to a private school? Wait, what? No. Why? Because we're really rich and I thought that's what you do. You go to private school. No, you girls can still go to public school with all your friends. That's fine. Yeah, um, and also our school is a really good one, right, mom? Yeah, it's a pretty good school for, for you know, this area. Are there better schools? If not, why aren't we at it? And Molly, why you look so grumpy? Because I'm still waiting for dinner to be done. And I asked mom when the cook gets here and she said that she has the stomach bug so she can't cook for us. And Ow. mom has to cook. And mom, it takes forever when she cooks dinner. What? The cook has a stomach bug? But mom, we're starving. Look at Molly, her face is so sad. Gosh, girls, you can wait 30 minutes for dinner. Yeah, I guess I can. Hey, Bob, can I take a snap with you? Sure you can, Daisy. Why do you want to take a snap with me? Um, you'll see, because I have to ask you a question. Oh, no. What is it? This isn't truth or dare, is it? No, Mom, the question is, um, you're going to buy me the new iPhone, right? Wait, what? No, Daisy, I just bought you a new iPhone two months ago. I know, but a new one came out and I absolutely need it. It has a slightly better camera. And my phone case won't work, so I need a new phone case. Daisy, no, I just I just bought you an iPhone. Okay, you said no. I'm gonna send it to everybody in town to show you how mean my to show them how mean my mom is. What? Daisy, don't do that! Well, then you should probably get me the new iPhone. Uh-oh. Mom! Mom, um, I was wondering, can I buy this, um, new video game on Roblox? I need some Robux. No, I just gave you ro money for Robux yesterday. Ooh. Well, Mom, you have a lot of money. Give us more. Mom, I want to buy this game on Roblox, and I need more Robux. What did you spend your Robux on in one day? Um, well, uh, um, you know, just a bunch of stuff. Well, you'll have to wait until next week. And no, Daisy, you're not getting a new phone. Okay, I'll send everybody that Snapchat if you beat the mean mom. The mean mom? What? I do so much for you girls. I get your boy, you get your boy. I'm on your pacifier, you mama. I get your boy. I'm your pacifier. Aww. What's wrong with the pacifier you got in your mouth? She saw an advertisement for one that's made out of gold. What? You're not getting a gold pacifier? Are you kidding? Besides, gold pacifiers probably taste disgusting. Yeah. She wants it though, Mom, and shouldn't she get it? Why are you standing on the table, baby Kira? It's like I've raised a bunch of animals. You both, all of you, 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 and you are spoiled, spoiled, and also little miss spoiled. Ooh. What? No, but not 
that. So, we're not spoiled. We're just, well, um, we have money. Yeah, Mom, we have some money. Correction. I have some money, and so does it your dad. You're the kids, so you have no money because you haven't earned it. What? Mom! Sorry, but you kids are spoiled. Do you even know what it's like to live as a poor person? Um, no, but I don't really want to. <laughs> oh, that's it. You girls have an assignment. This isn't school. Yes, it is. And until you complete the si assignment, you're both grounded. I could get a good pacifier. No, baby Kira. No, you're not. Okay, what's the assignment? And then can I have some Robux? Ha, ha, ha. No. And then you can stop being grounded for being spoiled. Oh, something tells me she's the weird strict mom. Yes, yes I am. Now, your assignment is... Sorry, Mom, I, I can't talk to you right now. Someone texted me. Uh-oh. Molly! What? I... I've got to talk to Brookie. She needs me. Molly, you're grounded. Until you complete your assignment, which is I want you each to go out and see what it's like to live as a poor person. Whoa, 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 whoa. And also, no. Well, completed or you're grounded for life. Whoa, grounded for life. Okay, I guess I better do the assignment. I don't know why my mom thinks I'm so spoiled. I mean, doesn't everyone have this calamitous pool? Thank you for hanging out in the pool. You're grounded. Oh, boy, I can't even get in my pool. Doesn't everyone have this beautiful backyard where you can cook out in? Daisy, don't even think about cooking out. You're grounded. Oh, I'm grounded from everything. Look at this adorable pool house. Um, well, actually, now my dad uses it as a garage because he was like, I don't have any way to store the lawnmower. So anyway, it was a cute little pool house, but now it's not. Daisy, did you start working on your assignment? Whoa, she really is the wheel strict mom. Ah! Hey, everybody, it's me, Daisy, and I'm grounded for being spoiled. Isn't that <sighs> ridiculous? I think that's totally ridiculous. And I just want to <laughs> say that... Um, basically, I don't think I'm that spoiled, but my mom said I'm grounded until I can see some evidence of how poor people live. So, um, yeah, I'm downtown just looking for poor people. So far, no one looks poor, so I don't know what she's talking about. Phew, what's that horrible smell? Yeah. What, what is that guy doing? Did he just, like, fall? Have you fallen and can't get up? Ooh, I found this, this smell. It's coming from that guy. Well, there's a lot of flies around him. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Why are you talking so loud? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Go away. Um, sleeping under a park bench? That's not a great place to take a nap. It is when you live here. Um, why do you live here? Where's your house? Uh, I'm too poor for one. Oh, wait, could I just Snapchat this for a second? Hey, um, it's me, Daisy. Mom, I found my first poor person. What? Hey, that's not very nice. Could you talk to me a little nicer? Oh, sorry about that. Um, you see, I'm very rich. Thanks for rubbing that in. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just saying, I'm rich, and my mom said I'm a brat, so I have to understand what it's like to live as a poor person. Okay, well, come have a seat then. Um... Okay. Now sit here all day. What? Uh, why? Because you've got nowhere else to be. You don't have a house. Oh. Well, at least it's nice out. Wait till it rains or snows or hurricanes. Uh, yeah, that's not very nice. Have you got any change? Um, no. I just have a credit card. My mom and dad pay for it. Wow, you are spoiled. What a brat. <gasps> That wasn't very nice. Well, I guess you're just rude then. No, you're just spoiled, so you don't like to hear the truth. Really? Yeah. Now give me 50 cents. I'm hungry, and I want to go get a Twinkie from the, the convenience store. Um, yeah. Okay, I think I have like a dollar. But you only had a credit card. Wow, you're spoiled and a liar. I'm not a liar. I just... I never think that I have, like, a dollar in my pocket. But I actually found three dollars. Whoa, jackpot! Yeah, I hope things get better.
here for you. Um, what's your day? You can call me Smelly. That's what everyone else calls me. Oh, I'm sorry, Smelly. Um, but, uh, yeah, have a nice life. You too, rich girl. Bye! OMG, I can't believe it. I just ran into my first poor person and, um, well, um, oh, I don't know why I did that. I was trying to be serious. There's no serious here. Okay. Um, and it was kind of sad. He lives on that park bench. He had a lot of flies around him. I gave him three dollars. I never thought that my life was different than everyone else's. But I guess it is. Hey, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get you started for you today? Uh, yeah, um, let's see. Let me get a... Cappuccino and a, uh, oh God, I want all the sweets. Well, do you have money to pay for them? Of course I do, duh. Do you think I'm like poor or something? Um, no, but there are people in this town who can't afford this delicious stuff. It's too expensive. Oh, well, yeah, my mom basically told me I have to find those people and find out how they live. Oh, well... You can probably go see Lou. He lives down at the marina. He doesn't have a house. Wait, what? He doesn't have a house? No, he doesn't. Um, okay, let me just get your order for you. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Whoa, are you Lou, the homeless guy? Um, yeah, who's asking? Me, Molly, the spoiled rich girl. Oh, that cookie smells so good. Uh, yeah. This is delicious. Uh, do you think I could have the rest? What? No. This is my cookie and I'm hungry. Oh, when was the last time you ate? I ate about an hour and a half ago. This is just a snack. <laughs> I eat a lot. The last time I ate was two days ago. And it was a rotten, um, I think hot dog and moldy bread. Ew, gross! Why are you in that trash can? Well, see, when I duck down, basically people don't see I'm in the trash can, and then they throw their rotten food in here, and then I can eat it. Whoa, that sounds terrible. <gasps> yeah, that's why I asked if I could eat your cookie. I'm starving. Oh, Lou, I'm I'm sorry. Um, I still have to eat this cookie. I'm starving. You're spoiled. What? No, I'm not. I just have money to buy a cookie, and you don't. That's so rude. You're going to eat it right in front of me? Why are you so mean? Uh-oh. Um, because I just love cookies. But I think I have, like, some Swedish fish stuck to the inside of my pocket what? that were from last week at school. But I've washed these pants, so they might taste a little bit like laundry soap. Okay, well, I guess beggars can't be choosers. I'll take them. Oh, I'm um, sorry. Yeah, I actually ate those uh, yesterday morning. What? But you promised me them! Sorry, but I love Swedish fish, even if they've gone through the washing machine. Well, have a nice life! Ugh, thank you. Well, I feel kind of bad eating that cookie in front of him and not giving him any snacks. I mean, he doesn't have any food. I think my mom might be right. Like, I do live, like, a lot differently than other people. I think I'm gonna use my allowance to get him some food. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Oh, it's you again. What are you doing back? Are you still hungry after that cookie? I met Lou. Man, his situation is really bad. Ow. Maybe I am spoiled. Well, it looks like you're getting over being spoiled. It looks like you bought him a bag of groceries. Yeah, I have like a dollar left. Is that enough to get a cookie? <gasps> well, they're a dollar fifty, but since you're being so nice, I'll put in the 50 cents. Oh, thank you so much. I think he's gonna love all this delicious food. Sure is better than eating the stuff from the trash can. You're a good kid. Uh, I think I'm starting to become one. What's she doing back here? Uh, she brought a whole bag of groceries to eat in front of me? Kid, you're just cruel. No, Lou, I'm not gonna eat this in front of you, although this bread smells so good. It's for you. Aww. What? All this food is for me? Yeah, it's it's all for you, Lou. <laughs> Look at this breadstick! It's enormous! Do a trash can dance. Because I got trash can dance. Hey, Lou, uh, my family always...
place has pizza on Friday nights, and uh, we always have an extra couple slices. I'm gonna start bringing some down for you. Really? You do that for me? Yeah, of course. You can count on it. Will you be here? Yep, living in my trash can. It's a good life. Um, okay, if you say so. Well, enjoy those groceries. Wow, an apple. I haven't had something healthy in, I don't know, 10 years. Wow, Lou. Well, I'll see you Friday with the pizza, okay? Sounds good. Thanks, Molly. Today has been the craziest day of my life. I learned <laughs> so much about poor people, homeless people, people that are different than me. And it makes me want to help people a lot more and well, be a lot less spoiled. At first, I thought this assignment for my mom was totally crazy and it made me kind of annoyed. But now I see why she did it. So, um, I guess, thanks, mom. Okay, I finished my assignment. I guess I have to go see what my mom has to say. And then this guy Lou was doing a trash can dance. Wow, Molly, this snap is really good. Um, you are released from being grounded. I loved the idea that you actually were gonna take in pizza every Friday night. Mom, I just wanna thank you for this crazy assignment. Wait, what? Thank you? Yeah, I learned that I was acting kind of spoiled and that there's people who really just could use my help sometimes. I met this man, he lives on a park bench. I gave him the three dollars in my pocket so he could get a candy bar or a snack. It's all the money I had, but maybe we could take him a piece of pizza on Friday too. I love this idea, girls. And so you don't want a new iPhone? No, this one's just fine. Yeah, Mom, um, but, um, can I still get some Robux? Molly! What? I want to play the new Roblox game! I think you being grounded is quite enough. Ugh. Well, uh, okay, but can I have some Robux tomorrow? Ooh. Molly, how about the next day? Molly! <laughs> some things my sister will never learn about. And we're live in three, two, one, on air. Hello, citizens of Brookhaven. It's your favorite newscaster, Miley. Today, I have some very important breaking news. <sighs> Brookhaven has an outbreak of lyotomy. Lyotomy is where, when you catch it, you can't help but tell lies. Guys, stay in your houses. Don't leave. You do not want to catch lyotomy. Lyotomy? Oh my gosh. I hope I didn't catch it. I mean, I went to Starbucks after school today and then... And, and, and I didn't wash my hands before I ate my donut. Oh no, I'm sure I'm fine. I'm probably panicking about nothing. Ah! Okay, <laughs> I'm getting a little jumpy, jumpy about that lyotomy. <laughs> Someone's at my door and I freaked out. Oh, it's Brookie. Hey Brookie, come on in. Hey Molly, it's good to see you. It's good to see you too. So, um, you here to hang out? Actually, Molly, um, I. I have to tell you a little bit of bad news. Uh-oh! Bad news? What is it? Don't freak out. It's not as bad as, it, as you think, but I'm moving from Brookhaven. Wait, what? <laughs> moving from Brookhaven? No, no! I'm sorry, Molly, but it's true. I can't help it. My parents decided they're going to move because my dad got a new job. Brookie, no! You're my best friend! You can't leave! Molly, it's okay. It's just a short car ride away. We're not like moving to California or something. Oh, thank goodness. But will you still go to my school? Yeah, I just won't live like right next door. Well, I'm actually not sure if I'm going to go to your school anymore. I have to check. But you won't be there all day then. Yeah, I know. But I'm sorry, Molly. I, I can't do anything about it. Ugh. Brookie, I'm so sad about this. Hey, did you watch the news? What? Why are you talking about the news right now? No, of course I didn't. I was on my way over here. I didn't have time to watch the news. Besides, the news is for old people. Duh. We just Google all of our information. Yeah, well, um, I saw something on there, but wait, what was it? Something important, but now I can't seem to remember it. Oh, well, <laughs> maybe it was about having amnesia because it seems like you have it. Nah, I don't think that's what it was about. Wait, do I have amnesia? Molly, I'm just teasing. 
Hey, look, I gotta go home and pack. Brookie, you can't leave! No! I'm gonna stand in front of the door. You can't ever leave. Holly, don't be ridiculous. You know I have to leave. I I know that we're BFFs, but don't worry. We can still hang out with one another. I really hope so, Brookie. I really hope so! Um, because I can't live without you. Yes, I, I can't. Aww. Really, Molly? Yeah, I, I, I'll get, like, super sick. I'll get green with illness. <coughs> oh, my gosh! Molly, you're right! You are turning green! Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. My best friend, she can't move! Molly, you can come visit me every day after school, okay? Now please, turn back to your normal color! Okay, Brookie, but... But don't leave me for long! Wow! Brookie's parents are really rich! Hey, Molly! Come on in! Welcome to our new house! Holy macaroni and cheese! What kind of job did your parents get? A really good one. This town is so cool. Look, we even have our own movie theater. <gasps> Holy tacos and guacamole! Molly, so tell me the truth. Um, do you really like Luke? I was thinking about asking him to the dance. Wait, what? No, I don't like him. Are you being for real, Molly? I don't want to hurt your feelings. Yeah, I don't I don't like Luke. I, I actually just like don't like him at all. He's not even my friend anymore. Wait, what? So I've been out of a different like out of our school and a different school for like a week and you already decided you don't want him as a friend? That's right. Well what did he do? He ate my peanut butter and jelly sandwich at lunch. Can you believe that? Molly, are you telling me the truth right now? <laughs> That's kind of a silly reason to not be someone's friend. Yeah, but it was peanut butter and jelly. One of my favorites. And yes, it is a perfectly good reason. Now, come on. Let's go into the kitchen and make some snacks. I'm really hungry. You can find the kitchen. This house is gigantic. Oh, yeah. Molly, I haven't even figured it out yet. But I'm pretty sure it's up here. Whoa, Brookie! Your house is so amazing. I mean, not that amazing. It's, it's kind of lame. What? What are you talking about? I thought you said you loved it. Yeah, I changed my mind. It's lame. <laughs> Molly, what's gotten into you? What do you mean, what's gotten into me? What's gotten into you? What? I... Okay. <laughs> First of all, you don't want to be friends with Luke anymore, even though you had a huge crush on him and he was a good friend of yours just because he ate your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And now you're telling me you loved my house, but you're saying you don't love it? <laughs> so which is the lie, Molly? What? Nothing's a lie. I'm not a liar. Oh, really, Molly? I think you are lying. I don't think you ever not want to be friends with Luke. And I think you really do like my house. Your house is crummy and ugly and I hate it. Molly, that hurt my feelings. Do you feel bad about hurting my feelings? Uh-oh. Um, no. Molly, maybe we shouldn't be friends anymore. Well, you need to be my friend for at least another hour because my sister borrowed the car to go to dance class and I've got no ride home since you moved to another town. But Molly, you said you couldn't even live without me. They, you turned green because you'd be so sick if, if you couldn't be my friend anymore. And and here I am inviting you to my new house and you're going to be rude like this? Well, do I look green now? Um, no. I think you should call Daisy and tell her to come pick you up early. Fine. I'll call her. <laughs> to come get me like now what why just come to brookies it's an emergency bye there are you happy now i'm gonna make a snap about how rude you are for kicking me out of your house what i don't want to be on your snap i don't care you're on my snap no uh, well tell them the truth then you're being rude i'm not gonna be on your snap um my friend brookie is being so rude right now she's kicking me out of her house for no reason what no i'm not Says the girl who doesn't even want to be on this snap. Okay, Molly, tell me the truth. What's really going on? Are you an alien that's abducted my best friend's body? Because you don't seem like yourself. Well, think again. Excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom. I ate a bean burrito for lunch. <laughs> the bathroom's the other way. Fine. <gasps> Molly, that's not the door to the bathroom. 
Well, that's not my fault. I mean, why'd you make your door so big on your refrigerator? Like, you're not allowed to just eat my food after you were so mean to me. Too bad. Mm. I'm eating this ice cream on the way to the bathroom. Yes. Ugh. Molly, you are so rude. Ow, why are you running into me? Because I don't know where the bathroom is in this house either. Ugh. Well, I don't know why my friend has gotten so rude. I don't know what her problem is. Good ice cream. Molly, are you done in the bathroom? I have to use it. No, I'm not. Well, out of the bathroom, Molly. Why are you lying so much to me? I'm going in the bathroom. Okay, well, you have fun with that. What's that smell? <gasps> Ew, Molly, did you forget to flush the toilet? Huh, what? No, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about this giant dude in my bathroom. Gross. Uh, yeah, no, that wasn't me. Molly, you're the only one here. What, was it a ghost? Uh, yep, must have been. Why is he lying so much? And what did you have for lunch? It's gross in here. I had a nutritious, delicious lunch. A chicken salad. I don't believe you, Molly. You had bean burritos. I know what bean burritos do to you. Why are you lying? I'm not lying. What are you talking about? You're lying about lying. I'm not 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 lying. Hello? Is anybody there? We're going to get to the bottom of this, Molly. If it's the last thing I do. Get to the bottom of what? What are you even talking about? We're downstairs, Daisy. Come on in and pick up your rude, lying sister. What's going on? I had to leave my dance class early. This is ridiculous. Molly, tell me what's going on. Did you stick up Boogie's bathroom? What? No. Why do you say that? Because it smells awful in here and I know it wasn't Pookie. And you had a bean burrito for lunch. Hey, you told me you had a delicious and nutritious something. Chicken salad or something. You didn't say bean burrito. Um, uh, well, this is mistaken. No, I'm not, Molly. Why are you lying about that? You love bean burritos. She's been lying about everything, Daisy. I have not. If you guys are going to be rude to me, I'm going outside. Even though I don't know how to get out of here and I can't walk home because it's too far. Molly, get back in here. We have more questions. Yeah, Molly, why? I don't know. I just keep lying and I don't know why. Oh my gosh. Molly caught my out of me. <gasps> what? 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 What's that? I saw it about it. I, it. I saw it. I, I can't even talk. I'm so crazy right now. <laughs> I saw this um, thing on the news. It's called Lyotomy. It's been going around Brookhaven. You must have moved before you caught it. Well, why don't you have it, Daisy? I don't know. Maybe I'm immune. Um, I do wash my hands a lot. Molly, did you wash your hands? What? Yes. Molly. Yes. Molly, tell the truth. Yes. She can't tell the truth. Seems like Lyotomy makes her lie about everything. Well, do you still want to be a friend? I mean, it's not really her fault. Yeah, it's not really my fault. Wait, I'm not even lying. Am I? I don't know. Oh my god. I might be lying! We need to take her to the hospital. Right away. Good idea! So, um, I'm at the hospital because I'm having a baby. Molly, why are you telling people that? Get, get out of here, Molly. That's not true. Hey, get out of my snap! <laughs> I'm here to have twins. It might actually be triplets. Oh my god, she has lyotomy so bad. They're crying inside of my belly right now. Body, you're the one who did that. The triplets are very mad at you for saying that. Oh god, someone give her something to knock her out. Oh look, no one's here. Time to go. Molly, get back here! Oh, I ran into the door. <laughs> Maybe I need to have my head checked. Hi, I'm Dr. Joan, and I'm going to be taking care of you today. I'm going to need you to lay down on the bed. I am laying down, lady. Um, no, you're not. You're standing up. Did you fall and bonk on your head? Ow. No, I'm just sitting down. Yeah, can't you see I'm sitting down? Okay, listen, Molly. If you don't sit down, I can't help you. I don't need help. I'm perfectly fine. No, she's not. Don't listen to that crazy person standing outside the window of this room. I don't know who she is. That's your sister. She signed you in. Now, I'm thinking that you live in Brookhaven? No, I don't. I live in Blacksburg. No, she doesn't. She lives in Brookhaven. She didn't wash her hand before she ate a donut. Now she's got lyotomy. 
Lyotomy. Serious. Okay, dear. Lay down. Uh, I thought we already went over this. I'm laying down. Lay down! Yes. Okay, fine. Wow, why are you being so rude? Well, this is going to be a little unpleasant. Do I get medicine? Do I get to hang out in the hospital? Do I have to do homework? Um, no, no, and no. Sorry about this, but in order for you to be cured from lyotomy, you're basically going to have to get smacked in the head with this. What? Check, please! Daisy! Ah, why can't I move? Oh, yeah, I did give you just a little bit of medicine in your IV so that um, you couldn't move while I did this. Ah! Well, sorry about this, but ooh, I sort of need a nap. <laughs> just kidding. It's a glitch in the game. It always makes me want to lay down in the bed where I'm trying to be a doctor. <laughs> Ow, did you just hit me? Okay, try to tell a lie. You're very pretty. What? Oh, that's a lie of the truth. It's a lie, lady. Not me again. How about now? Are you feeling any better? Ow! Okay, I'm better. Why are you keep hitting me? Because you called me ugly and you deserved that. Ugh, I want to get out of here. Can I move now? I suggest you lay here on this magic cot for at least another hour. Is it really magic? Um, no. But I may have caught your lyotomy. Oh, no! It's spreading! Ah! Uh-oh. Guess you should have washed your hands before you smacked me in the head with that hammer. Molly? Are you okay? Yeah. I'm feeling a lot better, but I have a headache. Ow! I wonder. Holy guacamole. Where's Brookie? Uh, your line got a little bit too much for her. Oh, no! Well, Molly, apparently whatever they gave you made you levitate. Um, actually, no, that's from my bean burrito. <laughs> Molly! What? It makes a lot of wind under me. <laughs> Get it, wind. Ay, ay, ay. Molly, just text Boogie. Tell her you're sorry. Okay. Here we go. Hi, Brookie. I know I lied. But it was because I had a disease. I may lie about my homework. Oh, wait. I was wrong. Um, uh, if you did your homework, you could spell it right. I wouldn't lie to you. Please. We've been friends forever. Molly, just apologize. Why are you writing to a novel right now? It's not supposed to be a book. Daisy, shh. Please, we've been friends forever. We met at daycare. And you... Five minutes later. You've been my BFF since then. How will I ever? A few minutes later. Live without you. Not just say you're sorry. Okay, fine. Whoops, I already clicked send. I'm sorry. Little, like, cat emoji. Um, or dog, maybe. Look at this grumpy cat, like, wait, I just want to send her something cute. Why do I always got to pay for it? Oh my god, I think she sent me a heart. Did I send her? Oh. Yeah, yeah, Molly, she sent that to you. I hope she comes back into the hospital and talks to me. Oh, Molly, she may. Oh, she texts you back. She texts me back. What am I saying? I don't know. She smacked you on the head with a hammer. Okay. What does this mean? Molly, just, just, just put your phone down. You need your rest. No, I need to know what she means. Molly, the doctor told you to stay in bed. You just had a crazy procedure. I know, but I have to find Brookie. Oh, Brookie! I'm so sorry. Where are you? What do you want, Molly? Oh, Brookie! Hi, I'm sorry I had lyotomy. And, 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 uh, do you forgive me? <gasps> I don't know. Yes, I, no. Wait, what? I don't know. I mean, you are, well, an ugly person. Wait, what? Oh my god, Brookie, do you feel sort of green? Uh, yeah, sort of. Uh, okay, um, Brookie, you've caught lyotomy. <gasps> what? No, I haven't. Brookie, you're lying. Come on, let's go. They have to hit you over the head with a hammer. Wait, what? Are you lying? No, really, that's the cure. Oh! <laughs> Daisy, 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 Maddie, I told you never, ever.
devil interrupt me when I'm in my science lab. But this is very important. Mom sent me down here to tell you, Marley, I have got to concentrate. The science fair is less than a week away, and my science experiment has to be perfection. Well, then why are you watching a video about chipmunks? I mean, seriously, what's that about? You taking a little break watching YouTube? No, Marley, I'm understanding the brain of the chipmunk and how it works. I'm, I'm doing this experiment on lots of different animals so that I can figure out exactly how their brains tick. Um, okay, well, I'll tell you how my brain ticks. Ooh, cupcakes, cookies, pizza! Molly, that's because you don't have a brain. You just have a stomach. <laughs> yeah, and this stomach is here to tell you that mom made chocolate chip cookies. Do you want some? No, Molly, I'm very busy with this. Maybe later. Daisy, you can't stay in the science lab forever. You have to eat and sleep and, and go poop poo Molly, go away. Fine, I'll just eat all the chocolate chip cookies then. Bye! According to my calculations, if I just make this adjustment here, this adjustment there, it should work perfectly. <laughs> take over the science field and I'm gonna win that blue ribbon. First place is in my future. I can see it now. <laughs> Molly, could you stop eating that cookie like a piggy and tell me if you talk to Daisy? Mm, I wish I could talk right now, Mom. But my ma mouth is full of chocolate chips. Mm, this is so good. Molly, seriously. Okay, what is it? Molly, did you talk to Daisy? I'm worried about her. She's spending all of her time in that science lab. She's completely obsessed about this science fair. Well, she does want to be a famous scientist someday, Mom. This is really important to her. And cookies couldn't even persuade her to take a break? Nah, I couldn't even persuade her. Don't worry. I'll eat her cookies. I'll just send down some to the lab to her. That way, at least she could have a snack while she's working so hard. Nah, she doesn't eat the cookies. I need the cookies. I'm the one with the stomach here. Molly, we all have stomachs. Yes, but my stomach is the one that's so hungry all the time. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the science fair. We're so glad you could join us today. All of our students have worked so hard, well, most of our students anyway, have worked so hard to create an amazing wow. science fair project. I'm proud of each, well, I'm proud of most of the students. Most of you have worked pretty hard at this. But anyway, that's not the point. We have some geniuses in our science department this year, and I'm excited to present you with their science fair project. This year, mm, that's delicious. Molly, put down your snack and tell us what you did for the science fair. Hmm. That's what I'm trying to tell you. This is my science fair project. <laughs> I learned how to make cotton candy all by myself. And I think mm, it's a delicious reward for working very hard on my science fair project. Mm, delicious. Hey, Luke, would you like to try some of my science fair project? Oh, that looks delicious, Molly. <laughs> Thanks. How nice of you. No problem. Mm. I ate some of it, though, so I'm sorry about that. Daisy, what's your science fair project? Our department has been watching this Daisy girl for years, just waiting for her to develop in a new amazing invention. Let's see if she did it this year. I've worked so hard on this life-changing invention, and I finally am ready to present it at this year's science fair. It's called a lycometer, and basically you can point it at any animal or human, and it'll tell you if it likes the other person next to it, yes or no. Very useful for humans. No more guessing if you should ask someone to prom. Nope, now you know. Nope, they don't like you. Yup, they like you. Take my sister as an example. Molly, do you mind if I use you as a guinea pig? Uh, yes. Sorry, too bad. Um, the like armado is going off like crazy. What's all that beeping for? What's that mean? It means that you like someone in this room. Let me get closer. Oh, it's showing that Molly likes Luke. Oh, ha, 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 that thing is pretty crazy. And the crazy part about it is, 
Luke also likes Maggie. Say what? Uh, I'm really embarrassed. Okay, I think I'm done with the science fair now. Um, I'll see you guys in like a month when no one's remembered this. As you can see, the likeometer works perfectly to decide whether or not someone likes you. Oh my gosh. As you can see with Luke and Molly, they really like each other. I can't believe Luke actually likes me. Holy macaroni and cheese. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, let me introduce myself. I am Lauren and I am from the Ingenious Inventors Company. And I think your invention is worth one billion dollars. What? One billion dollars? Well, is this cotton candy worth one billion dollars? I only took a couple bites out of it. Sorry, we've had cotton candy for years and years and years. That's nothing new. Now, please excuse me. I need to talk to Daisy. But I want a billion dollars. So, everybody, this is all about me, 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 and me. I knew that my hard work would eventually pay off. All we need to do is to sign over the, the rights to your new likeometer and I will give you a check for one billion dollars. My sister just became a billionaire. Yes, I'm a billionaire. Molly, what are you doing? Please, could you spare some change? And by change, I mean like a million dollars. I'm so broke. I, I need some some fabulous clothes and, and some candy bars. Molly, what are you doing? You have a billion dollars and I don't. Please, please. Whoa, you're a little close to my face right now. Please, I need money. You're, you're the mostest, amazingest, most gorgeous. You could say that, but probably with less halitosis. What's that mean? Maybe you should pay attention in school more often and you'd know. It means bad breath. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I did forget to brush my teeth. And I had a tuna fish sandwich for breakfast. Oh, Molly, gross. But seriously, though, can you put some money in my bucket? Molly, get a job. What? She's changed since she got money. She's changed. So ever you, Molly, you're standing outside begging for me from the school. Oh, you really should, you know, get a life. But, but you have a billion dollars. You're not going to share it with your sister? Nope, not gonna. I'm the famous one in the family. And you're just, well, not. Hi, welcome to Zorizon. How can I help you today? Oh, you're just a kid. Sorry, we don't have any cheap phones. I don't need a cheap phone. I'm a billionaire. What I need is the latest and greatest iPhone, please. Whoa, stacks of cash. Stacks of cash. <laughs> I'm going to make an awesome commission off this. And also, I like the latest iPad, some new headphones. Just give me everything, basically, in your store. Okay, perfect. That outfit looks adorable on you, but I'm sorry to say it's $500. I don't care. I can afford to look cool. How do you afford it? Aren't you just someone who works here? Um, yeah, but I get a discount, okay? Cheapers, way to make me feel poor. Make it a rain, make it a rain. Got so much money, gonna make it rain. Wow, it must be amazing to be a billionaire. What did you do to earn that money? I came up with a like Amadou. Wait, what? That was your invention? Thank you so much. That helped me realize that this guy that I've been liking for like three years didn't actually really like me. And I just moved on. Yeah, I'm gonna find a new boyfriend. Oh, that's great. I'm glad that Like Amado had such a positive impact on your life. It totally did. <laughs> Thank you. I could even give you a 10% discount for this outfit. Awesome. Yeah, excuse me. I'm here to pick up my solid gold Humvee. You know, that's one that's made out of all gold. Yep, it's in the shop. Go right in. Brand new. Just got it in. Thank you. OMG. Ah, oh, it's good to be rich. It's so good to be rich. Hi, fellow citizens. It's me, Brittany, from Brookhaven News. And I'm here to report that Brookhaven Shelter, where we house all of our homeless people in Brookhaven, it is short beds and food. There are many in the middle of winter that are, well, still on the streets. If you have money, and I mean you, Daisy, please give us money so that we can buy beds and food for the homeless. Daisy, call us. 1-800-BROOKHAVEN-NEWS. What's this news station telling me all about this for? 
I don't need to give my money to anybody. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Oh, mine. <laughs>
Uh-huh, sure. She's probably awesome like Brookie then. Everyone named Brooke, Brookie, whatever, they're all awesome. Ooh, pig cakes. Mama, you try to make Molly be nice so she behaves. Uh, yes, absolutely, Daisy. Mmm, those are good, Mom. Thanks. You're welcome. Baby Kira, what are you doing? You're not allowed to have my phone. I think Mom, but I will phone guy at five. No, no screen time this morning. Eat your baby food. I want you have a baby food. Oh, so I'm going to be the naughty one with the babysitter, huh? Not. One hour later. Mommy, the new babysitter's here. Try to behave yourself. As I said, no promises. Good morning. I'm Brooke. No television. But I was watching gymnastics. On my watch, there's no television and there's no fun. What? Oh, great. Mom, I owe a prison guard. Especially because of you, Molly. What? It's not my fault. I can't go by and get that from your fault, Molly. <gasps> I'm not a prison guard. I'm last chance babysitter. Let me tell you, I don't quit. You will behave. Now let's see. It's already pretty late. Time for those chores. Um, we don't really do chores on this day. Well, now you do chores every day I'm here. Starting with my laundry. Hop two. Your laundry? But, 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 but. Wow, this is a lot of laundry. Why are you bringing it here? You could have done it at home. I don't think so. Now, we will be going out for exercise in approximately 30 minutes. Uh-oh. So hurry up with that laundry. Oh, boy. Should have been nicer to Hannah, I guess. This is terrible. Maddie, don't complain. This lady seems crazy. Who knows what she'll do? Well, hopefully she she lets us go outside. Yeah, well, she already said we have to go out and exercise. Your favorite. Um, I don't exercise unless you count eating cookies. That's a lot of exercise for my mouth. Chew, 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 chew. Oh, boy. I, 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 looking up reviews on this babysitter, everyone doesn't even know who she is. Where'd mom even find this lady? Hop, hop, hop to their little bunnies. Time to go outside and get some exercise. Um, I don't exercise. Wait, where's my stroller? Your stroller? You're not a baby. Well, I could probably squeeze in there with baby here. Wait, come back here. Uh, no. You are going to get some exercise. No lazy kids on my watch. Whoa. I, I don't even know what to say right now. Uh, you're kind of grumpy there, Brooke. I don't think you should be talking to me that way. Would you like a timeout for the rest of the day? Does the timeout include cookies, sitting down and watching TV? No, it includes an underground prison that I've made in your basement. Wait, what? When did you have time to do that? Probably while we were doing our laundry. Oh my gosh, look at your nails. Those are crazy. But anyway, could you help me? Excuse me, excuse me. Ooh, nice Louis Vuitton bag. Molly, quit getting distracted. Um, wait, come back. My babysitter, she's evil. I need help. Your babysitter seems super nice, kid. What are you talking about? Huh? Oh, Molly, there you are. Are you ready to have a fun day at the park? Brooke, you're wearing a smile? Who are you even? You were just a grumpy, miserable, mean babysitter. What? I have no idea what she's talking about. Don't listen to her. Um, do you, do you, seriously, listen to her. She's, she's just acting right now. Molly, I'm the nicest babysitter ever. What are you talking about? Now, come on. Okay, maybe I just misjudged her. Maybe she's not as evil as I thought. I just need to give her a chance. Glad you could join us, little brat. What? You were just so nice in front of that other lady. Yeah, but at last chance babysitting, I don't want to be nice. <gasps> I want you to behave. Whoa! Um, so you are actually me? <sighs> no. I'm honest. You're a brat. Oh, that's not very nice. I'm gonna go jump on the trampoline. Not today, Molly. Get down. No fun for you since you can't really behave yourself, ever. Oh my gosh, okay. I guess I'll just go stand over here then. 
Guys, I need to come up with a plan because this babysitter is super mean and grumpy. I'm gonna expose her on Snapchat. Then, everyone in, in Roblox, they'll have to believe me. Okay, it's Molly here, guys, and I just wanna make this little video because my mom hired this babysitter and she's so mean. So I'm about to show you guys so everybody will know. Did I say you could have any fun? I don't think so. I wanna have fun cause I'm at the park. I don't think so, kid. No fun. See, she just made my little sister cry. Time to send this to everybody in Roblox. Hmm, what's this? I got a new snap. Wait, what? Is that babysitter being mean to you, honey? Yeah, and, and, and we need to call the cops. I think we just need to call your mom. Holy macaroni, there's an evil mean babysitter in here. <gasps> Cute guy, that's right. Um... I don't know what to do. We're gonna call your mom, that's what. Oh, Molly, everybody in all of Wubai's got your snap, including the babysitter. Maybe we should take baby Kira and run. What? You did this snap? That's it. You are gonna have a timeout forever. I don't think so, lady. Molly, run. Oh my God, this lady's crazy. Bacon here! We need a ride! Get in, Molly. What's going on? Do you have room for my little sister? Do you have a car seat? Uh, we're just right here. We're, we're, we're kind of good. You need to take us to the hospital. Why? Did someone lose an arm or something? No. Ew. Gross. Um, no. We this we have this really evil babysitter. And can you just drive the car while you sit here? Sorry. I didn't really get a really big uh, brain when I decided to be this bacon hair dude. Dude! Okay, I'm not very good at driving. Hey man, can I have a ride? No, sorry, I gotta take these kids to the hospital. Something about losing an arm. Dude, bacon hair, we didn't lose an arm. Oh my god, this guy can't drive. Park it so I can drive it! Molly, we'd be faster off just running! Yeah, she's got a point. Let's go. <laughs> ah, and then I was gonna run over by the free candy guy. Okay, um, when I see my mom, I am going to scream that she hired this babysitter. Daisy, the hospital is right here. Where are you going? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> My brain was like in scared mode. Daisy, I'm confused. I don't know which one to go to. Imaging or emergency? I mean, I took an image with the Snapchat, but this is an emergency. Are you serious right now, Molly? Yeah, which one is it? Molly, imaging is for like an MRI or, or like X-ray. We have to go to an emergency. That's where mom works. Plus, this is an emergency, right? Ay, 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 Molly. I can't even with you. Mom! 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 Molly, I don't think you're supposed to run through the hospital like that. Oh, Molly! What's going on? Why are you here? Are you okay? Where's Where's my girls? Oh, okay. What's going on, girls? Mom, the babysitter's evil! What? No, you just don't like her because she makes you do your chores. Our chores? She made us do her laundry. Then she calls me a brat and she's really mean to me. What? What are you talking about? Mom, pull out your phone. Um, I sent you a chat, but you were a Snapchat, but you were just busy like with patients or something. Okay, well, let me look at my phone and see what you're talking about. <coughs> Wait, what? She was mean to my baby? <coughs> All three of them? That's it. She's fired and getting one star on Google. <coughs> yeah, um, last chance babysitting is not a very good business. Oh, I'm sorry, girls. But Molly, you were so naughty. I couldn't get any babysitter to not quit. Don't worry, Mom. I've learned my lesson. I've really learned it. I'm only going to eat one cookie and bounce on the couch once a day instead of more like a hundred. Molly. Molly. Okay, how about just one cookie and no bouncing on the couch? Molly. Mom, I can't live without my cookies. <laughs> Already? Today's the day, today's the day, today's the day! Honey, why are you awake so early? Because I'm so excited! They are going to give someone a promotion at work! And I've been doing so good! I just know it's me! I'm gonna get a better job! And I'm gonna make so much more money! Well, what happens if you don't get the job? Oh, thanks for your vote of confidence! 
I'm just saying, honey, don't get your hopes too high up. Sometimes you don't always get what you want. Yeah, but I've been working so hard. I'm pretty sure this is going to happen. And when it does, we're going on a family vacation this year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to go wake up the girls because I need to make sure I'm at work on time today. I better wake up Molly because she always has trouble getting out of bed and I literally cannot be late for work today. Molly! <sighs> Mo Molly, did she just get up and run around her bed and then go right back to sleep? <sighs> Molly, I'm telling you, can you hear me right now? Yes, I can hear you. You need to get up or I'm going to be late and I cannot be late. Okay, Mom, I can hear you. I will absolutely get out of bed. Maybe. Time to wake up Daisy. I bought it wake mom and doing my aerobics and I'm just getting some cardio this morning. Okay, great Daisy. Well, I have a really important day at work and I can't wait because I think I'm gonna get a promotion. Good job, mom. Congratulations. Have a good day, honey. I'll see you after work. Good luck with your job promotion. Thank you. What should I wear? I mean, today's such an important day. I have to look amazing. These are my most favorite scrubs. They're kind of like good luck for me. <laughs> and well, I think today is gonna be a fantastic day. Molly, the bus is here. <laughs> See you after school, girls. Have a great day. Well, lo and behold, my sister is late for school again. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, everybody, good morning. Just making a snap to show you my face and say, I'm still here and I'm ready to have a great day. <laughs> Gotta go. Don't want to miss the school bus. Today's gonna be an amazing day. It's gonna be an amazing day. <laughs> what is that sound? Is that Molly snoring? Well, it's not Daisy. She ran out the front door. Huh? What? What? What's, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's, what's going on? Molly, you were supposed to be up 30 minutes ago on the school bus with your sister. What are you still in bed for? Uh, I accidentally fell back asleep. Molly, uh, I have my job promotion today. Well, correction, I might not actually get the promotion, but uh, get in the car. But I didn't brush my teeth yet. Brush them at school. I didn't eat breakfast. Yeah, I don't know. I eat lunch when you get to school. But lunch isn't breakfast and I'll be hungry. Molly, I cannot be late for work today. Hurry, Molly, get in. Oh, no, I forgot my homework. Are you serious? Yeah, and if I don't go get it, I'm going to get detention. You don't want that, do you? Ugh, Molly, hurry. Oh, no, oh, no. I don't want to be late for my promotion. Oh, this kid always makes me late for work. Ah! Now, where did I put my homework? The last time I had it, I was getting a snack out of the refrigerator. <laughs> uh, did I leave it in there? No, but ooh, leftover pizza. <clears throat> Delicious. OMG, what is taking her so long? Molly! What? Uh, Molly! Oh my God, did you find your homework? Um, uh, Molly, it's up in your room. Take the pizza to go. Sorry, mom. I bet you are. You're always sorry when you make me late for work, but today is kind of important. Come on, Molly. Coming. Oh, no. I forgot my teddy bear. What? Your teddy bear? What do you need a teddy bear for? Um, It was bring your teddy bear to school day. Mom, oh, Mom, you're being kind of crazy with your driving right now. You'll have to take your teddy bear to school some other time. I cannot be late for this job promotion. Mom, stop saying. Whoopsie. <laughs> I totally paused. Mom, do you even know the way to my school? Yes, I know the way to your school. Hey, there's Daisy. Hey, get out. Mom, you just ran into the building. <laughs> um, yeah, my driving isn't that good this morning because I'm in a hurry. Bruh. Love you. Have a great day. Oh, no, my car Bruh. is stuck. Ah, okay, there we go. Molly, what have you been doing? What were you doing? You just got here. No, Molly, I didn't. I actually took the trash out for the teacher. Ugh. You're such a goody two-shoes. Whoa, I drove right past the hospital. Can you guys tell that I'm a little bit nervous? 
Good morning, Susie. Oh, good morning, Laura. You're late again. Oh, I know, but I, my daughter, she's just... You better go in and see him. He's waiting for you in his office. Oh my gosh, here we go. I bet he's gonna give me the promotion. Ah, I'm so excited. Good morning, Laura. Oh, good morning, Mr. Glenn. I'm so glad you called me into your office. I'm really excited this morning. And very late. Oh, sorry about that. My daughter, Molly, she's, uh, well, a little bit of trouble, but she's a good kid. She, she, she is a good kid. Uh-huh. Yes. Um, but here at this job, we have expectations. Yes, and I always meet the expectations with the patients. Uh-huh. So I have something that I need to talk to you about. Uh, yes, I, I agree, and I'm really excited. You are? Yeah! This is going to be an amazing opportunity. Um, yeah, starting over can be an opportunity. Yep, a new position. Uh-huh. Well, we're going to miss you here at the hospital. Huh? Miss me at the hospital? Wait, does this promotion mean I'm going to be working at a different location? No, what promotion? I'm not giving you a promotion. Wait, weren't we just talking about the promotion? I was going to be making an extra $50 an hour. No, you're not getting a promotion. You're getting fired. Wait, what? F -f 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 fired I've been working at this job for years, sir. Why am I getting fired? I don't understand. You've been late every single day for almost a month. That's because my daughter Molly, she never gets to the bus on time. I always have to drive her to school. Well, whatever the reason, we need somebody who's dependable here for this job position. So we are, well, firing you. Firing me? F -f 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 firing me? Did they take the picture? Did they post it on the news? Wow, must have been mind blowing. <laughs> Honey, are are you okay? <laughs> You're so excited, aren't you? <laughs> Honey, what's going on? You're freaking me out right now. I, I, I got fired. Wait. What? You got fired? For what? You've been at that job forever! Plus, we need that money to help pay our bills. I... I was late again. Wait, why? Because Molly didn't get out of bed like I asked her to when I had to drive her to school. That's it. She's grounded for the rest of her life. I... I don't know what I'll do. I've always worked at the hospital. I love working at the hospital. And now I'm fired! <laughs> okay, honey. It's okay, don't don't cry. You're a very smart woman. You could get a job anywhere, and there's lots of businesses here. Tomorrow morning you can start off looking for a new job. I'm sure you'll find something amazing. I I hope so. Uh. Good morning everybody. I'm just making this Snapchat because I had a terrible day yesterday. I got fired from my job, but as you can see, I'm still smiling right now because Today is a new day. It's actually so early in the day that um, the sun hasn't even come up yet, but I'm determined to find a new career today. So guys, wish me luck. Well, here goes nothing. I think I saw that the bank was hiring. Yeah, totally on my list. All right, let's go over to the bank and see if I can get a job there. That'd be a really good job to have. Good morning, welcome to Keep Safe Bank. How can I help you today? Oh, hi. Uh, I saw that you were interviewing for new new um, bank tellers. Oh, yes. Come right into my little office here. <laughs> Nothing fancy at the bank. Except for all the money. That's pretty fancy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty good with money, actually. I have so much in my savings account because uh, I had a steady job for 10 years. I mean, steady as can be. Oh, that's good to hear. You sound reliable. Um, do you have any banking um, experience? Uh, yes, I go in every Friday to cash my check. Oh, I meant like, have you worked in banking? Did you go to college for it? Uh, no. Well, what did you do for 10 years then? I worked at the hospital. Oh, sorry, hospitals and banks are a lot different. Can't work here. Oh, okay, thank you for your time, bye. 
Hopefully you get another check though so you can come back on Friday. Uh, no, I can't. I got fired. Whoa, harsh. Well, good luck with the job search. Thank you. Oh, man. Okay, that's okay. It's just one job that I didn't get. I'm sure I can find something else. According to my list, Paw Palace is hiring. They have rare exotic pets. Do they call hamsters rare and exotic? I could totally do this job. Love hamsters and dogs and cats. Welcome. Please wait for the staff. Okay, well, are you staff? Yes, but we have to say that because sometimes our animals get a little crazy and they think they can talk to them. <laughs> oh, very funny. Hey, I'm looking for a job. This seems like a great place to me. Whoa. <laughs> What's that over there? Lady, if you've never seen a monkey before, you probably shouldn't be working here. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to say what's that. I knew it was a monkey, but you guys have a pet monkey? Yeah, he's so crazy. Sometimes he likes to throw poo-poo at yeah. the customers. <laughs> You're so funny. No, for real. Watch out. What? <laughs> Ew, it landed on my head. Sorry about that. I told you the monkey was kind of crazy. OMG. Ew, why is it blue? This monkey loves blueberries. <laughs> you get it? What? Um, yeah, I don't want to work here. But you'd be great at the job. He loves you. No, thank you. Oh, this job search is not going so well. Park is hiring and, well, I need to work somewhere. Now, where is the manager? Yo, what's up? You looking for a job? Ugh, I'm a little frazzled right now, but hey, why you got to poop on your head? Oh, no, I forgot to wipe that off. Excuse me. I'll just use my phone like a mirror. That way I can see it. And oh my God, I'm on Snap. And I just sent it to everybody. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to do that. Oopsie, having the worst day ever. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was kind of funny. <laughs> Whoa, what happened to you? I was just doing a little maintenance on one of the pieces of uh, amusement park ride equipment and um, things didn't go quite as I planned. So, um, do you have any uh, experience? Uh, no, I'm not really into amusement parks, but I'm super smart and um, I'm sure I can do this. Okay, well, we have one rule before you get hired here. Okay, I'm sure I can meet it. What is it? You actually have to ride the rides to make sure that you're excited about the job. What? What? Why? Because we're all about bringing fun to everyone here. And if you're not having fun, our customers won't be having fun. <gasps> Go ahead, get on the roller coaster. Um, I'm not really a big roller coaster person. I hope you didn't just say that, because you're not going to get hired. Okay, fine. I'll get on the roller coaster. Fine. Enjoy your ride. It's probably going to be super fun and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yep, it sure will be if you really like <laughs> roller coasters. Yep. Oh, boy. Okay, just try not to lose your lunch, Laura. Keep from throwing up. Nope, I'm definitely gonna. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, you can't work here. Well, at least get me off of here. Sorry, it's a 10 minute ride. Ah! Just kidding, get off the ride. Also, you're not a good candidate. Oh, I think I might have left some throw up in your car. That's all right, I'll take care of it. Sorry. God, I'm out of job options. We're gonna be homeless. Ah! Well, I guess there's only one choice left. Hey, what can I get for you? <laughs> McDonald's, by the way. Oh, hi. Um, can I speak to your manager, please? Why? What happened? Did you get like, um, like a rat in your French fries or something? <laughs> what? No. I just am looking for a job. I need the manager. I want to speak to them about getting a job. Well, you're speaking to the manager. What? You're like 16 years old. You still have a bunch of pimples. How can you be the manager? Well, get used to it, lady, because you'd be working for me if you want a job at McDonald's. Ow! Ugh. Seriously? I'm working for a teenager? Ugh. So, do you want the job or not? We're a bit short-handed, and I could use somebody right now. drive through is getting crazy. Well, I guess so. I need a job. And it's better than being homeless. Well, come on back here. I'll get you a uniform. Don't forget to say welcome to McDonald's. Okay... Since when is this uniform what they wear at McDonald's? 
Oh, we just got that updated uh, about a week ago. <laughs> you look awesome and a little bit old in that uh, Happy Meal <laughs> hat. I mean, what are you, like 50? What? No, I'm not 50. Well, like I'm just saying, you're not like 15 or 16. No, I'm not. I should be the manager of this place. Okay, here's the drive through window. Make sure you're polite, you say hello. You didn't do that. Well, yeah, okay, but I'm the manager. I get to do what I want. Uh, Take a look around the place, though. Make sure you know what everything, where everything is. I see that. Okay, fine. Oh, I can't believe I'm working at McDonald's drive through How embarrassing that I'm a grown-up and having to wear this silly hat. Dad, I really want to have a Happy Meal. Okay, Molly, okay. And Dad, also, what's going on with your stash? I mean, that's new. Just trying something different. It looks like you have a caterpillar on your upper lip. <laughs> Very funny, Molly. Hi. Welcome to McDonald's. What can I get for you? Mom? What are you doing? And what are you wearing? <laughs> Is this some kind of joke? Actually, I would be really careful what you say to your mom because you're kind of the reason why she's working here. And what? Why are you working at McDonald's? I couldn't get any other job. And I didn't want us to be homeless. Oh, honey. I'm sure something else will come along, but for now, you do look pretty cute in that Happy Meal hat. Oh. Oh, I feel so dumb! Okay, well, um, anyway, enough talking. Come on, do your job. What? Yeah, uh, Molly wants a Happy Meal, and I would like a Big Mac meal, please. Okay, fine. We love you, honey. Have a good shift. Yeah, thank you. Hey everyone, it's me, Laura. I can't believe I'm actually making this Snapchat right now. So I'm su super embarrassed by this, but I'm wearing a Happy Meal on my head. It even has two chicken nuggets on the sides and fries <coughs> on the back. I feel ridiculous. Please just say something nice to me so that I feel better because I'm having a terrible day. Okay, bye. Oh, yay. <sighs> Another customer. Okay, just try to be friendly, Laura, even though you hate your life right now. Hello? Are you gonna take my order? Um, yes, but could you get a little closer to the window? It's it's really far away. I'm not gonna be able to hand you your food like that, please. Oh, how rude. I can't believe you're talking to me like that. Uh, well, I, I can't reach you from all the way over there, and I want to be able to hand you your food. Like, you know, I don't want to drop your chicken nuggets on the ground. Fine, I'll back up. It is <gasps> McDonald's cheese. Um, okay. <sighs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. Um, what can I get for you today? How about a better attitude? I mean, every time I come through here, there's somebody that's grumpy. Oh, sorry about that. Um, what can I get for you? I'll have a 20 piece chicken McNuggets with French fries and um, a Coke. Okay, um, sure. Um, that would be $35. What? $35? When did the prices at McDonald's go so high? Um, about four years ago or so. Oh, I can't believe this. McDonald's isn't even, like, what I really wanted. Well, you could always go to Burger King across the street. Just give me my order. Okay, fine. Bacon, is the order up yet? No. I was busy making a Snapchat. Oh, yeah, but this lady, she really wants her food, and I really want her gone. She's really miserable. Hey, listen, Happy Meal Head, I'll get it done when I get it done. Okay. I'm sorry, ma'am, but um, your order's taking a little longer than normal. Could you please pull up? What? You want me to pull up? Ugh, this is so annoying. Sorry, uh, it's just we're making your food really fresh. Yeah, that's it. Bacon, make the food! Was this what you ordered? Oh, we don't even serve popcorn here! What are you doing? Oh, you think that you're the manager or something? No, but I should be. This is ridiculous! Okay, I can't wait till this lady goes away. She seems really grumpy. Okay, what's she car? Oh, wait, there she is. She's still at the order window. What's she doing? Hey, I didn't feel like pulling forward. Oh, okay, well, here's all your meal, and, um, you have a wonderful day. Yay! Thank you. This food better be fresh. It is. Bye! Oh, oh my gosh. I can't believe I have to work here. This is, like, the worst day of my life. Bacon! Get rid of- get with it! 
Then you're supposed to make the food. Oh, uh, we have a customer and you're yelling at the manager. Yeah, hi, can I help you? Yeah, this girl who's yelling at you, she didn't even give me any napkins. That's <gasps> true. I gave you three napkins. Well, I wanted five. Okay, but you're only one person. How many napkins do you need? Are you the biggest slob in the world? Uh oh Whoa, um, sorry, lady, but obviously you don't understand how to be a good McDonald's, you know, employee and teammate. You're fired. Wait, what? I got fired from McDonald's? Wait, I just get to take a Happy Meal home. I'm hungry. You said I got a free meal on my lunch break. No. What? I want my Happy Meal! Worst day ever. Ew, what's that horrible smell? I don't know, I think it smells good. Oh, it's just your mom. Yeah, it's just your mom smelling like greasy french fries. Mmm, greasy french fries. Mom, I think you should work there every single day for the rest of your life. Well, that's impossible since I got fired. What? <laughs>
Well, we're just waiting on the waiter or waitress to come take our order because I'm starving and I want something to eat. Yeah, Luke's waiting to play crane game with me, but I want some soda too. Oh, I can't wait to snap this. Oh, I look so cute today. Hey, everyone. Just looking adorable at my job. Excuse me, but not to be rude, but we're really hungry and we want something to drink. Can you please take our order? Yeah, and our friend Luke over there definitely wants something to drink and eat too. Wait a minute. There were ten toys in that crane game, and now there's only nine. Whoa, but friend Luke must have won one. No, there was no more money put into it because every time money gets put in, we get like a little signal on our phones that tells us that. Whoa, really? Yeah, it shows us every time we make a sale at Chuck E. Cheese and I didn't get one. So did your friend just steal from the crane game? Well, I just heard him say that you could stick your arm up in there and get a free toy. Um, Daisy, I'm not sure we should tell her that. Our friend Luke, he doesn't steal anything. Well, maybe we should let the police decide. What? No, put away your phone. He didn't do it. He's innocent. Mm -hmm. Let's just let the police decide whether he stole a toy or not. Lady, why are you being so rude to my boyfriend? <gasps> your Ow. boyfriend? Who said he was your boyfriend? Oh, no. Are you guys going to fight over Luke? I mean, your sister's first, and then your friend's with Luke second. Well, there's no fighting. He's my boyfriend. He's actually neither of your boyfriends. Well, I'm sure he didn't steal anything. Luke, Luke, they're about to call the cops. Wait, what? Why? Did Chuck E. Cheese come back? Has he gone crazy like you said? No, there's a toy missing from the crane game. And no money got put in. There was supposed to be ten toys, and now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's two missing toys. Well, I didn't take them. I don't know what happened. It wasn't me. Well, it had to be somebody, and you were the only one standing here. Are you accusing me of stealing those toys? <gasps> I thought we were friends. Ah, uh, no, I'm not accusing you. I'm just saying that the police are coming. Uh-oh. I think you're innocent, though. Well, I'm sure it's just all a misunderstanding. Where's the criminal? I'm going to take him down. What? There's no criminal here. Actually, someone stole two toys from the crane game. And I looked at surveillance footage and you were the only one. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he took it. Yeah. Maybe he's very good at being a thief. Is this the first time you've stolen from a crane game? <gasps> Are you a serial crane game thief? Uh-oh. Um, I don't even know if that's a real sentence you just said, but... Maddie... Don't talk to the police like that. You'll be arrested next. Well, I'll be hauling you off to jail now. Wait, what? You can't take him. He's he's my friend. Yeah, and he's going to stay here, lady. It's okay, Molly. I'm sure this is all a misunderstanding. Yeah, you'll be out in no time. I just know it. Mm -hmm. Sure you will. That's what all the criminals say. Come on, let's go. Hey, you, there, in my bed. Huh? What? Ugh, you're in the wrong jail cell. This is my room. No, jail cell number one is mine. This is only my third time in here, and I always am in number one. Oh, sorry. Did you just get taller? No, I was just squatting down, so I didn't want to make you feel as bad. But now, since you're just trying to steal my bed, I just gonna have to beat you up what no i i i'm not like a, a criminal i i they said i stole two toys from the crane machine at, at chuck e cheese but i didn't do it really oh, gosh. you're a bad guy well not really because i didn't actually do it what are you in here for and what's your name hey i'm fred my reason for being in here this time is that well stole a pacifier from Target. Seriously? Dude, you're like 40. You don't need a pacifier anymore. No, it's for this kid that was crying in the one aisle over. I felt sorry for it, and also it was really loud, so I went to give it a pacifier. But of course, I don't own a pacifier. Um, Fred? Are those bunny slippers? Yeah, of course they are! I'm about to go to bed, duh! Now get out of my jail cell! Um, I would, but I can't open the door! Well, then I guess you gotta sleep on the top bunk. Okay. Hope we can be friends, Fred. Don't count on it, kid. So, uh, boss, 
Why'd you want to see us in your jail cell? Yeah! Wow! I've got a new idea to get on out of here! Oh, boss, you're so smart. I hope this time we get out of jail for real. Yeah, so we can rob some more banks. Okay, boys. First, change my diaper. Boss, uh, I don't think so. Aren't you potty trained? Yeah, but I was just messing with you. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, boss, you're so funny. <laughs> well, laugh. <laughs> you're our funny boss. When I say laugh, I mean laugh. When I say break me out of jail, I mean break me out of jail. I can't believe I got put in a max security prison for all boys. Oh, I miss school. I miss my friends. I miss pizza. Mm, this pizza is really good. Yeah, really good. Mali, are you okay? Uh, yeah, sure. Mario eating ale. There's no pizza in your hand. Oh, yeah. I guess I wasn't very hungry. Mario, what's going on? I found out today on Snapchat that Luke has been sent to a max security all boys prison. What? Yeah, we can't even go visit him because we're girls. Oh, but gee, Mario, how long they be there for? I don't know, Daisy. I. I think probably 10 years for stealing those two toys from Chuck E. Cheese. What? Whoa, five years for each toy, and the things were only worth about 50 cents. That seems a bit harsh. Yeah, but if you do the crime, you do the time. Except for Luke didn't do anything. I don't know how those toys disappeared. Maybe they just counted wrong. My friend, he's not a thief. I know, Molly, I know. But there's not much we could do. I know. Oh, this is terrible. Who's gonna play Roblox with me? I will, Marley. But you're my annoying sister. I want Luke. Yeah. Marley, I know you have a crush on him. What? Don't say that. He's just my friend and I miss him. I know, I miss him too. Breaking news, breaking news. Little Nikki is back in prison. Oh my gosh, that guy will never stop. Yeah, and he's not even five years old yet. Think about the criminal, Sarah, that he's gonna be when he's like 15 or 20. Yeah, he's the biggest criminal we have in this town. Whoa, little Nikki is back in prison? Wait a minute. That gives me a great idea. Marley, I don't like when you have great ideas. They end up really bad ideas. If they're going to put Luke in an all-boys prison, then they're going to have to lock me up too. Uh, Marley, you a girl. What are you talking about? <laughs> You'll see. Molly, where are you going? Ah! Outfit change! Molly, you're gonna get dressed up? But Luke's not even here to take you out on a date! <laughs> oh, very funny, Daisy! Hey everybody, it's me, Molly. I'm doing this last Snapchat because I don't know if I'm gonna return from this mission. But if I do, guys, you can guarantee that I'm gonna have my friend Luke with me. And then he might ask me to dance, so I'm extra excited about that. Hey guys, I hope I see you soon. Bye. <coughs> well, what do you think? Molly, what are you wearing? <laughs> you look like little Nikki. Yeah, I'm little Nikki's twin. <laughs> this wig is awesome. Uh, Molly, I don't know if they're gonna believe it. And why do you want to pretend you're his twin? Because how do they know who did the crime? Little Nikki or Molly Nikki? <laughs> I guess they wouldn't know. And that means they'd have to put you in the prison. That's right. So I get to see Luke and hopefully break him out of there. Molly, when I said that your ideas were bad ones, I really meant it. You might get locked up forever. To help my friend, it'd be worth it. Molly, don't leave. Don't worry, Roblox wouldn't let me. It actually made me chill on the couch. <laughs> I hate when Roblox does that. Yeah, well, now I'm actually leaving. Bum, bum, bum. Time to use my phone to teleport. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could actually teleport in real life? <laughs> yeah. That would save a lot of car accidents. <laughs> Alright guys, here we go. I'm about to save my best friend. Actually, sorry. Uh, Brookie, are you watching this? Yes! Did you just call Luke your best friend? Ow. See, I mean, you're my best friend, Brookie, and Luke is my soon-to-be <gasps> boyfriend. Yeah. 
Ooh la la! <laughs> Hi there! Whoa! Little Nikki, how'd you get out? Wait a minute, you're not Little Nikki. You're way too tall to be Little Nikki. Haha, <laughs> that's because I'm Little Nikki's twin! Uh -oh. Little Vicky! Little Vicky? Yeah, as in Victor, Vicky, Victor. I didn't know he had a twin brother. Wait, how are you so much taller than he is if you're twins? I had a growth spurt, duh! All kids grow at different rates, duh! Huh. Are you supposed to be smart, bacon hair? Actually, no, I'm kind of a noob. Uh, okay. Well, do you need to lock me up? Um, why? Because how do you know which twin actually did the crime? Oh, yeah, that's true. Have you been helping your brother rob Ben? Absolutely! You have the right to remain silent! You're going to jail! Perfect! Really? You're that excited about it? Wow, you're kind of messed up. Well, you know what they say, three hots and a cot. Place to sleep and a place to eat. Sounds good to me. Hi, free! Now do you serve pizza? No. Uh-oh! Only have gruel three times a day. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll learn to love it. You'll be in cell number one. Woo! Little Nikki? Wait, did you have a growth spurt? I'm sorry. I promise I won't ever look at you the wrong way ever again. Um... Yeah, um, what? I promise, don't give me any more swirlies in the toilet. Yeah. That was the worst day of my life. Oh, wow. Totally gonna have a little bit of, uh, just trauma from that one, huh? <laughs> Luke, it's not little Nikki. It's, uh, little Vicky. <laughs> Wait, there's two of you? <laughs> Just ignore me. I'm not even here. Luke, it's me, Molly. Wait, what? What? Molly? Yeah, I'm wearing a wig and some fake muscles and this ridiculous outfit, and I don't know why I keep just... This game is so glitchy! Ah! Don't you know I'm trying to make a role play? Uh, Molly, um, can we get back to the story? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Anyway, so I'm a little Vicky, but I'm actually Molly, and I, I went undercover to get you out of here. Wait. You snuck into an all-boys prison? Are you crazy? <laughs> Only for you, Luke. Only for you. Oh. <laughs> um, that was a nice thing to say. Well, I guess we're gonna get to know each other better since we're roomies now. Yeah, except for this wig is really itchy. Ugh. Okay, everybody. You have the right to remain silent. Who is this clown? He's just one of little Nikki's, well, cronies. Wait, little Nikki? I didn't know you were in here. <laughs> Sorry, boss. I'll do better next time. Uh -oh. Yeah, you better. You better get me and my friend Luke out of here. Tonight. Okay, well, I got a job in the tools section, so finally they trust me enough. They don't know that I'm one of your cronies. Did you hear that, Luke? He works in the tools section at the gym. <laughs> this means he's going to get us out of here. I don't know, that guy's kind of, well, ignoramus. Well, it doesn't matter if he's dumb or not. He's getting us out of here. They lock the doors after 8 p.m. There's no leaving or going from the jail cells. Don't worry. I have a feeling that my crony will figure this out. Wow, you're actually kind of like little Nikki, only cuter. Oh, even in this ugly wig. Absolutely, Molly. <laughs> that was a nice thing to say. Hey, if we get out of here, do you want to go to the dance with me? What? Um, uh... I mean, you don't have to. Yes, I'll go to the dance with you, sure! Okay, I didn't think you were going to be that excited about it. Well, I will be excited about anything if I can get out of here. Um, it's kind of bad, but I have to go to the bathroom. What? No, you're going to have to hold it! But I had a taco for lunch. Molly! Whoopsie! <laughs> uh, well, I guess we're stuck in the same room, so, um, didn't mean to gas you out. Psst. Guys, come on! I broke the lock! <laughs> Perfect, crony. Let's get out of here. You do have a way out, right? Sure do. Watch this. What? Freedom! Come on, Luke. We're out of here. Are you sure this is a good idea, Molly? Yeah. Now we have to figure out how to prove your innocence. Should we steal that police car? No, then we go back to jail for that. We just need to go to Chuck E. Cheese and try to figure out how to get you out of this. And, uh, I probably should change out of this outfit, and you should change out of that one. 
probably look pretty obvious. Uh, Luke? Are you going undercover like that? Mamma mia! Hey, are you going undercover like that? Your dress is a giant burrito! I know, I was so hungry that this is what I picked because I'm, like, really hungry. The jail doesn't even feed you. Well, you were there for, like, two hours. Yeah, I know, but I was expecting to give me pizza for dinner. It's jail! Exactly, it's jail! You don't get fed there! They just feed you gruel and... And if you can catch a mouse, you could probably eat that. Yeah. Ew, gross! Now, come on, Luke. Let's go to Chuck E. Cheese and get to the bottom of this. Yeah, Molly. Hopefully we can prove my innocence. Yeah, and then we can go get bean burritos. I'm starving. Oh, Molly. You're always thinking of your stomach. Very true. Very true. <laughs>
Oh, she just wants to help, honey. So what are your symptoms? Well, I was up all night puking and running to the bathroom. I feel super cold, but my skin feels hot and I feel nauseous still. Oh my, that definitely sounds some, like some sort of flu. You need to stay home from school. I'll call the school. Thanks, Mom. Oh. I really don't want to miss school today. I know. Well, I got the thermometer. I take your temperature. Whoa, that thermometer looks weird. Oh, I brought it home from the hospital. It's a new type of thermometer. It works really well. It's very accurate. Okay, hold still. Baby Kira's going to take your temperature. I get the temperature. Whoa! Your temperature is 103.2. Wow, you're definitely going to need to take some medicine to bring that down. After I wake up, Molly, I'll bring you some medicine. Okay, sweetie? Okay, thanks, Bob. Uh-oh. Here comes Mom. I have to get back in bed. Oh. Oh. I'm so sick. <sighs> Molly, are you okay? No. I'm so sick. Oh, really? Well, what are your symptoms? Um. I farted and it smelled like a tongue. I've got an upset stomach is what I'm trying to say. Yes, it's terrible. I can't go to school. Absolutely not. I have to stay here and play Roblox all day. Molly, are you faking being sick because your sister is sick? What? No, I didn't even know she was sick. Yes, you did, Molly. You came in here. Molly, do you want to get grounded? No. Are you really sick? Um, the thought of going to school and having to face my teacher and not having done my homework makes me kind of sick. Uh-oh. Molly, get out of bed. Go down and eat breakfast. I have to bring Daisy some medicine. Ugh, why don't you believe me, Mom? Because, Molly, I think you're just sick because you have to go to school. Not because you're actually sick. Now go get ready. Fine. Ow! I'm coming with the medicine, Daisy. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. She always gets away with everything. I get the body daddy to the bar. I nurse baby Kira. Oh, <laughs> your nurse baby Kira. Aren't you adorable? Okay, mom made pancakes, so I guess this makes this day a little bit better, but, you know, not totally. Still have to go to school. My sister gets to stay home. Mm. Oh, look at that extra syrup. Delicious, so delicious. I can't stop eating it, for real. Mm. I want some more. It's so delicious. I really want some more. <laughs> Oh my god, I love when you're playing Roblox, you try to place something on the table, and like, it ends up some somewhere weird. <laughs> Look at my plate of pancakes. It's literally like balancing on the edge of that chair. <laughs> Sometimes Roblox glitches are so ridiculous! Ugh, why do I eat so many pancakes? My stomach kind of hurts. <gasps> I hope I didn't catch it! Molly, you didn't catch anything. You just ate too many pancakes. Yeah, but... Since when have I not been able to eat a ton of pancakes? Like, never. I always eat every single pancake in the entire world. Daisy, you're so lucky you get to stay home. I don't think she's very lucky, Molly. Look at her. She looks terrible. I could have found you for you feel bad. Here you go, Daisy. Why am I drinking that from Baby Kira's sippy cup, Mom? Um, well, <laughs> I haven't run the dishwasher yet. It's all I had. Besides, remember when you were little? It was the only way you take medicine is in your bottle or your sippy cup. Mom, seriously? Well, it's all I have clean, so just just drink it, okay? Uh, I, I just gotta make sure Molly's getting ready to get on the bus. I'll be right back to check on you. Don't worry, Mama. I know it's baby Kira. I take good care of this. da 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 Ugh, those pancakes were like too much, seriously. Oh, I feel like, ugh, ugh. Well, at least I'm ready for school. I guess that's something. I'm gonna snap my adorable outfit right now because I do look super cute. Look at me, I have on my unicorn sweatshirt. So cute, it has all the colors of the rainbow on it. Just a pair of jeans. And yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually give myself this cute I think I'm gonna give myself that. <laughs> That's perfect to go with my unicorn. Yes! Sending it to everyone I know. Send to everyone. <laughs> Hello, bouncy bird. We meet again. Ah! Oh no! Why can I never?
never ever win at this game. I can never win. I shall beat you, Bouncy Bird. If it's the last thing I do. Whoa. You can't touch Ooh. like oh whoa, life pay? No, I don't I don't have any money. I just have to start over from the beginning. Oh Molly, <laughs> are you getting ready for school? Uh-huh, yep, sure I am. Um, Molly, are you dressed? Yep, dressed. Oh, this game. Are you playing games on your phone? Um, caught you. Come on, the bus is going to be here any minute. Okay, fine. Don't, don't get back in bed. Sorry, that I didn't mean to. That was a Roblox thing. I swear it. <laughs> Does anyone else out there um, get on the bus before the sun even comes up? Like, how ridiculous is this? We are not supposed to be waking up this early in the morning. Seriously. I, I, I think that we should change this about it. I'm like, no more getting on the school bus when it's dark. That's too early. It's way too early. I guess um, the sun just comes up as I'm getting on the bus because I'm only the second person that gets picked up in the entire school. Hey, good morning, Molly. Wait, where's Daisy? Okay, everybody. Um, we're going to go pick up the other students, so make sure you stay in your seats. Yeah, I know, Bacon Hair. We hear ya. Oh, if, if, if I could only stop being a noob, I could get a better job than school bus driver, and I could actually, you know, buy some shoes. I mean, why am I such a bacon hair? Hey, being a school bus driver is very important work. Yeah, and, and until you get homework crumpled up and thrown at your bacon hair. Okay, maybe the students are a little cray-cray with you, bacon, but, you know, overall, this has got to be a great job, right? I don't know. Remember when we all got the stomach bug and we were throwing up all over the bus and then someone threw up in Bacon's hair? Yeah, remember that? Oh, yeah, that was pretty terrible. I think I have a Snapchat of that. Let me look at my phone and see. Oh, no, I think it got erased. That would have been amazing if I still had that. Oh, yeah, it's a memory I want to remember forever, not. Anyway, Molly, where's Daisy? Did she get a ride from your mom or something? No, she's sick with none other than the flu. What? Is she going to be okay? I'm sure she is. I just think it's really unfair that she gets to stay home while I'm at school. Well, in your defense, Molly, do you really want to be home puking and everything? If it meant I could miss doing homework, yes! Okay, class, I need everyone to um, hand in your homework last night. Did anybody have any questions about it? Homework? Uh, homework? What homework? Molly, you have homework every single night except for the weekend. You knew you had homework. Uh, Molly, did you not do your homework again? <gasps> um, uh... Molly, you know, I'm a really cool teacher and all, but I just have to tell you that, well, I'm giving you detention. <laughs> detention? <laughs> Mr. Snickerbucker, you can't do this! I, I've never had detention in my life. I, I am the most best student in the whole world! This is shocking to me. <laughs> Molly without detention is like me without blue hair. Pfft, you're crazy. Billy, I don't know what you're talking about. Your hair isn't blue. Molly, sit down. But I don't want detention, please. Coming to school today was enough work. Well, you also need to do your homework and you know this, Molly. Now sit down and take your detention because it's what you're getting. Ow! Detention? Ugh. You know, you could actually do your homework and then you wouldn't get in trouble. Well, how does that help me now? I've already got the detention. Ooh, my tummy feels kind of weird. Uh, Mr. Schindenbacher, can I go to the bathroom? No, Molly, you need to do your work. I don't really have to go. Please, 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 please. Okay, but hurry back. Okay, I will. <coughs> oh my God, my stomach really hurts. Oh, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it. Ah, why was the door? Oh, okay, I just had to pull the handle. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah! Wait, I didn't even close the door. <laughs> that could have been really bad. Oh, my stomach hurts. Why oh, did I eat so many pancakes? I always think I can eat more pancakes than I actually can. Too many! Okay, okay, I think I'm okay now. <sighs> Don't go in that bathroom, though. Woo-wee, it's closed for the rest of the day. Thank you for joining us again, Molly. Uh, you're welcome. I didn't know it was such an amazing thing to have me in your class. It's not. Okay, everybody else has their books out, Molly, except for you. That's because my stomach's kind of really upset. 
Uh-huh, sure. Don't try to get out of detention. I'm not trying to get out of detention. Please. My tummy really hurts. I'm like, are you okay? Not really, Brookie. My stomach is just really hurting me. Oh, no, Molly. You don't think you caught Daisy's flu, do you? <gasps> oh, no. Oh. Okay, Molly. I want you to go up to the board and read what's on it for me, please. Okay. If you really want me to. Oh. oh my uh -oh. stomach. Oh. <laughs> oh, Molly. Why didn't you go to the bathroom? Because I told you I needed to go and you wouldn't let me. Oh, yuck. Sorry. <laughs> yes. What is a continent? A continent is a very large landmass. Woohoo! Saved by the bell. Everyone is dismissed to lunch. Ugh, lunch. That doesn't sound very good. Hey, kids. What's up? Hey, Large Marge. Whoa, Molly, look. She has your favorites out today. Pizza, cheeseburgers, everything you love. French fries. Ugh, I don't want any of it. What? Wait, what? Are you kidding me right now, Molly? You love this stuff. I'm Snapchatting it because this is like the most delicious like lunch we've had in all like the school year pretty much. I'm choosing a cheeseburger. I don't want to Snapchat lunch. Molly, are you okay? Maybe you did actually get sick. Come on, try something. Okay. Ugh. Nah, I'm just going to put my tray back. Oh, did you have the hiccups, Molly? Yeah. And, and, uh-oh. I gotta go to the bathroom again. Molly, are you okay? Oh my gosh, I think Molly might be sick. Oh, why are the bathrooms so far away? Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, I have to clean the bathrooms. Oh no. Oh. Why does a janitor have to come in right when I'm in the bathroom? Uh, somebody's in here. Okay, well, the bathroom's gonna be closed in two minutes because I have to actually clean it. Ooh. No, it can't be closed. Molly, are you in there? Prookie, oh no. Molly, are you okay? Oh, ew! There's a bunch of pink on your face. Why does it look like a rainbow? Oh, I ate some Skittles on the school bus. Whoopsie. Ugh, Molly, gross. Okay, girls, I need you to get out of here because, ew, it really needs to get cleaned. Um, sorry, but, um, I think I might have the stomach bug and... Oh, great. No, I'm gonna catch uh -oh. the stomach bug. Wait a minute. Aren't you the school bus driver? Yeah, but I wanted to be able to get a pair of shoes, so bacon hair has to have two jobs, okay? And now, also, the third job is gonna be, uh, canceled because I'm gonna catch the stomach bug from you. Wow, bacon, you really do have a rough life. Only, I think you need to go to the school nurse. Stat! Ugh. Oh! Can't make it! Blech. Yeah, Molly, I'm walking you to the school nurse right now. Come on. Ugh. Thanks for being such a good friend, Brookie. <coughs> Molly, I really hope you feel better. Also, don't give me the flu. I'm trying not to, Brookie. I'm trying not to. Well, hopefully the nurse will just call your mom and you can go home. Uh, and also, you still look like you're puking. Ugh. Uh, oh, hello there. Um, checking into the nurse's office? Yeah. Oh, you look terrible. Ooh, why do you have rainbow puke? I ate Skittles on the school bus on the way to school. Oh, my. Okay, let's take your temperature. Go ahead, lay on the nurse's cot. The magic nurse's cot. Everybody knows. This will make you feel better. If anything will make you feel better, the magic nurse cot will. That's right, sometimes all you need to do is just lay down for a few minutes and then you'll feel better. I have to Snapchat this, this is kind of crazy. You need to lay down. I know, but first I wanna show everybody that I was throwing up. Look, I'm gonna be like a dog throwing up. <laughs> yeah. Don't I look adorable? Not. Um, this is more like it. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> OMG, I'm sending it to everybody I know. I put on a face mask, Molly, obviously, because you're sick. Could you lay down, please? I'm, I'm trying to lay down, but this game won't let me, and I'm really sick, and I need to lay down. Come on, Roblox, what's wrong with you? I'll give you a go. Thank you for laying down. Okay, just hold still. I'm going to take your temperature. Oh, wow. Over 100. And I suspect it's going to keep climbing since you are throwing up. Yeah, I don't feel so good. I'm going to call your mom. Can I go home? 
Yes, she'll have to come pick you up. It's ringing, Molly. Ugh, thank goodness, I can't wait to go home. Hello? Oh, hi. Is this Laura Acker? Yes, it is. Oh, no. Don't tell me Molly got suspended. <gasps> what? No. She's in the nurse's office. She's not feeling well. Ugh. She's always trying to get away with that. She's just faking it. No, Mrs. Acker. I actually took her temperature and she's throwing up. She's actually really sick. Wait, what? Okay. Tell Molly I'll be there in 15 minutes to pick her up. All right, I will. Thank you. Well, your mom thought you were faking it. Do you often pretend that you're sick? Only when I don't want to go to school, do my homework, or be responsible for anything. Okay, so a lot. You might want to stop doing that. She didn't quite believe that you were sick. So wait, she's not coming to get me? I'm stuck on the nurse's magic cot when I want to go home and get in my pajamas and eat popsicles. No, honey, she's coming to pick you up. You just rest, and when she gets here, she can come get you. Thank you. Oh, I feel so sick, Mom! <gasps> Daisy, I'm so sorry, but I have to run over to the school. What? No, you can't leave me! I need more popsicles! And I need you to tell me, oh, there, there, you okay? Oh, honey, as much as I'd love to stay here and baby you while you're sick, I have to run over to, this, pick up this, over to the school and pick up your sister because she's also sick. She's faking it! She's not even sick! Actually, the school nurse called, and she caught your stomach bug, too, or whatever this is. I don't have it. Oh, that's right. Hopefully, you don't get it, baby Kira. It's terrible. You don't want it. I feel bad for Molly. Yeah, me too. Okay, I'm going to run over there with baby Kira. I'll be back in, like, 15 minutes, okay? Okay, Mama, I'll text you if I need anything. Okay, honey, I'll be right back. Oh, no! Molly's caught the bug, too! Mama, I like it. Coco Mom went on your phone. Of course you can watch it on my phone, honey. Oh, but I think you should stay away from Molly and Daisy. I love them. I want to stay away from them. I know, honey. But the truth of the matter is, they both are sick, and I don't want you to catch it. Mama, I make a Snapchat. Oh, that's so cute, honey. But listen to what I'm saying. No catching what your sisters have. I love my mama. Where's my mom? I need to go home. Molly? Oh my goodness, Molly. You look so sick. Get in, honey. Mom, I'm sorry, but I'm not faking it this time. Oh, you're not, sweetheart. But maybe you should stop faking things so much in the future so you're believed. Yeah, you're probably right, but ugh. My stomach is so upset. I threw up at school. And it was like rainbows from the skulls I ate on the school bus. Ew. And aww. And also, ew. Okay, Mom's going to run in and just get some chicken noodle soup and some other supplies, okay? Hang tight. Okay, Mom. Uh-oh. 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 I think I'm going to throw up right here. Yup. I'm gonna. Blah. Blech. Ew, this is terrible. I feel like some sort of monster on Halloween. Oh, worst day ever. I forget autumn. I got on Snapchat. Take a look. I'm back, girls. Are you okay, Molly? No, she flew up everywhere. I sent a snap of it to everyone. You did not. Did you, baby Kira? Ah, uh, yeah, I did. OMG! Oh, baby Kira! Oh my gosh, you caught it barfing! Oh, that is so embarrassing. Mom, why'd you let her use your phone? Um, sorry. Oh, my life as I know it is over. Oh, Molly, this will blow over, I promise. Okay, let's go home and get you tucked into bed. I thought it was funny. Yeah, real funny. Uh-oh, I might have to have you pull over, Mom. Seriously, we're almost home. I know, but I'm going to throw up again, I think. Oh, no, Molly. All right, I'll take a shortcut. Okay, we're here. I got to run to the bathroom. Oh, this has been the worst stomach bug of my entire life. Oh, oh, wait, where's the bathroom? I can't even remember. Okay, there we go. Oh, Oh. What What happened to the toilet? Okay. Uh -oh. Someone took the toilet out of our bathroom. Sorry, Molly. 
it wasn't working, so the repairman came today to take it back to his shop and fix it. Oh, who does that? Who steals a toilet? That's like something the Grinch would do. What am I going to do without a toilet? Use a different bathroom. Oh, I Snapchat that, Molly. What? What? Yeah, you were talking about how there was no toilet. It was funny. Ah, oh, give me that phone. I'm going to smash it. Go away, that mom phone. Give me that phone. I don't want people to see me like this. It's embarrassing. I'm going to smash it. I'm going to smash that phone. And Snapchat with it. Molly, that's my phone. And it's a brand new iPhone. I haven't even paid for it yet. Well, tell baby Kara to stop Snapchatting everything. Because it's embarrassing. <laughs> I'll tell her. You go up and get in bed. Obviously, you're very sick. Okay. <laughs> Molly? Molly? Do you want to just get in here with me since we're both sick? Yeah. Oh, I feel terrible. At least you didn't get the pink spots. Yeah, I guess that's one good thing. No, not quite. Molly, do you feel better? I feel so much better. Yeah, I feel like all better. Thank goodness, that stomach bug was terrible. I know, right? Thank goodness it's over. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I'm actually, like, thinking, like, wow, I would rather go to school than have that stomach bug. Ugh, I even slept in my clothes last night because I was too tired to even get in my pajamas. <coughs> Is that baby Kira crying? She sure sounds like it, Molly. I wonder if Mom's taking care of her. I'm gonna go check. <laughs> Baby Kira? Baby Kira? Oh my gosh, Baby Kira, are you okay? I'm feel good. <gasps> oh gosh. Um, let me see what is considered a fever that I should take you to the emergency room if you're a baby. All right, I better get my thermometer. Oh my gosh. This is definitely a fever you need to go to the hospital for. 102? Baby Kira, wake up. Baby Kira? Oh my gosh, she's not waking up. Molly, Daisy, someone call 911. What did mom just say? I think she said baby Kira is having trouble waking up. She's really sick, Daisy. I, I need to call 911. Call them really quick, Molly, do it. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, I need an ambulance in my house. My baby sister, she's not really responding, and she's sick with the bug or something. I don't know. We'll send an ambulance out immediately. Okay, thank you. <laughs> she's in here. She's in here. Okay, ma'am. I'm going to do my best to take good care of your baby. Baby Kira, can you hear me? I told you I feel good. Oh, she's responding. Thank goodness. I was so worried. Excuse me, ma'am. You're going to have to leave. What time? Her mother. I'm not leaving. Well, you keep running into me, and I can't do my job if you're, well, in the way. I, 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 okay, fine. I'll wait outside the door, but take good care of my baby. Don't worry. I'm going to. Okay, baby Kira. I'm going to, um, listen to your heart, and I'm then I'm going to put you in the ambulance, and we're going to go to the emergency room. But don't worry, when this is all over, you can have a delicious lollipop. Yeah, baby Kira, everything's gonna be fine. Doesn't this thing go any faster? Nope, this is as fast as it goes. But don't worry, I'm gonna get your baby there just as soon as possible. I'm just so worried. Yes, this one goes faster. Pull over and let me drive. Okay, fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You forgot to hit the brake. You're a terrible driver for a paramedic. Hey, I just take care of people. I didn't say that I was a good driver. Well, I'm an awesome driver, and we're getting my baby there quicker because she's really sick. Hey, baby Kira, mommy's driving now. Everything's good. I'll feel good to get my baby you. Everything's going to be okay, sweetheart. I promise. Not with you driving. You're a maniac. What? No, I'm not. I'm a good driver. I've never even gotten a ticket. Honey, are you okay? No. This is all our fault. What? <gasps> Why is it our fault? Because we brought this flu home and now baby Kira is so sick because she's a baby and it's 
It's really my fault! Molly, the flu is just a bug. I mean, anybody can get the germs. We wash our hands, we do our best, but she's still caught it. The stomach flu is very, very contagious. <sighs> I just wish I had known I was coming to the hospital. I actually would have worn some shoes. Oh, I'm just so worried about baby Kira. Oh, my poor baby. I hope that you're okay. I really hope that you're okay. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Miley, and I'm so smiley because today is my first day at my new hospital. I'm so excited to take care of so many adorable kids as your favorite doctor, Dr. Smiley Miley. <laughs> oh, look, I'm gonna dress up as a little dog, cute. <laughs> All right, time to go see my first patient. Bye everybody. What patient do I have first? Let's go see. Oh, what's going on here? Can you tell me your daughter's symptoms? Yes, my other two daughters who are older had what seemed to be the stomach bug. And now my baby has whatever they have, I think. Oh, well, we should run some tests and find out. Would you mind if I shared this on my TikTok? What? Yes. Oh, sorry. Some of my patients actually let me um just share their case on my instagram and on my tiktok because i'm kind of a famous doctor here in the children's hospital have you heard of me smiley miley wait what you're smiley miley oh my god did you hear that baby kara we're gonna be famous but first of all let's get your baby girl feeling so much better Okay, sweetheart, I know you don't feel good, but I just need you to lay completely still while I do this x-ray of your chest and your tummy. I just wanna make sure that nothing else is going on, okay? Okay, the machine, let me just take, make sure it's in the right position. Okay, perfect. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. I look at your boy, you up here. Oh no, the machine doesn't actually make that sound. I just do for fun. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. Shouldn't it make that sound though? I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's so quiet, it's weird. Beep, boop, beep, beep, boop, beep. Okay, we're done. Let's take a look at your x-ray. Oh, wow. Yeah, you definitely have a sad, frowny face type of x-ray, because you have an infection. You definitely need some medicine. Come on, sweetie, let's go back and see your mom. I'll have you feeling better in no time. For that matter, I think you can probably just spend the night for one night and then go straight home to rest in your own crib. Baby Kira, I was so worried. Is everything gonna be okay? I took a x-ray of her chest and tummy and it does look like she has um, an infection. So I'm gonna give her some medicine and keep her for observation overnight, okay? Okay, but she'll be okay? Yeah, she's a great and healthy little girl. She should be fine once this medicine gets in her system. Thank you, Dr. Smiley Miley, you're amazing. You're welcome. Here I am with my amazing little patient, baby Kira. Where are you, baby Kira? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Anyway, guys. Oh, she's kind of being shy. Oh, wait, there she is. Yeah, she's adorable. And guys, today I'm going to make baby Kira feel all better. So make sure you log in to all of my social media channels to see how I do it. Bye. So we just got home from the hospital, everybody. Uh, my sister, baby Kira, is feeling so much better. She's just coming into the house now and she got medicine, so she's she's feeling much better. And my sister and I are all feeling better. Everyone's healthy. That's right, girls. Oh, I've had the most worrisome week ever. But at least we get to go back to school. What? Back to school already? Yeah, Molly, everybody's healthy. You get to go back to school. Oh, oh wait, um, Brookie's calling me, guys. I gotta end this snap. Whoa, she tried calling me like five times. <sighs> Hello? Hey, Molly. Ugh. I am so sick. What? Oh no, you caught it. Yeah, did it feel like your stomach was trying to crawl outside of your body? Yep. Did it feel like you had to run to the bathroom every five seconds? Yep. Did it feel like you were dying? Yes, it totally did. 
Oh no, Pookie, I'm so sorry. We won't see you at school. Oh, this is terrible. Sorry. Uh, if we give it to you, I'm really sorry, Brookie. Girls, um, you have to say goodbye right now. There's something important on the news. Okay, Mom. Um, I gotta go, Brookie. I'll call you later to check on you. Bye, Molly. Bye. Feel better. Next up, we talk about a woman goes missing for years. But first, Brooke, this is crazy. All of our town is shut down for a week. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Oh, it's true. The entire town has got the stomach on. Oh my god, do you think our toilets can handle that? Let me answer that, probably not. School is closed for the rest of the week. Everybody, please stay home, stay inside, just DoorDash so that no one has to see the, anyone else and we can just stop the spread of this crazy stomach bug virus. Molly, we seriously infected the entire town. Ow! Um, oopsie! <laughs> Another snowstorm. Mm, this donut tastes pretty good, though. Maybe it's not as cold out as I think it is. Oh no, it's freezing. Oh, totally, Molly. But that's okay. We can always find something fun to do inside. Yeah, like your donuts, Molly. It's a new year. It could be a new year, new you. Blah blah blah. I like the old me. Well, um, the old you wears terrible outfits. And, um, eats way too many donuts. So judgy, this one. Listen, I like Molly just the way she is. If you don't, that's your problem, girlfriend. Well, I'm just saying, I think you'd be really, really helped out by my new TikTok idea. You have TikTok? Well, not yet, but I'm gonna sign up. It's called New Year, New You. Oh, like I haven't heard that one before. Yeah, but it's all about, like, having great fashion, um, even cooking healthy meals. Well, pretty soon, in about a week, you can turn your TikTok channel to eating terrible meals for beginners or for advanced people. Because basically everybody in the new year wants to be healthy and whatever for like a week. And then they just decide, meh, and they eat all the donuts. <laughs> I just skip all that and just keep eating the donuts. Molly, seriously, stop eating that donut. I'm going to make an amazing TikTok. Now stay out of the kitchen and don't interrupt my healthy cooking TikTok. Yeah, okay, whatever. She gone. Hey. Back to eating a delicious donut. As you can see here, I'm making a delicious apple that's baked in the oven. Super delicious and good for you. Hey, I'm Molly, her slob of a sister. I dress bad and I eat way too many donuts. Molly, get out of my TikTok. <laughs> I'm pushing send. <laughs> it's uploaded on your TikTok. Nah, 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 nah. Molly, how could you? Wait a minute. I already got 10 likes on that. Wait, what? They think that we're funny together? Yeah, you're funny looking. Molly, rude! Oh my god, now we have a thousand people liking it. Oh my god, Molly! It went up to 50,000! What? It's been like 30 seconds. Mm. I'm getting more TikTok subscribers before I even finish this donut. Ugh. Okay, now I got a little bit of a stomach ache. And these pants are getting a little tight. Molly! We're going to be TikTok famous. So TikTok fans, if you want to have these adorable pigtails like I have, you just have to brush your hair exactly like this. Daisy, get out of the bathroom. I have to go. <laughs> Molly, I'm making a TikTok. What do you want? <laughs> I need to use the potty. Seriously, Molly? Well, I guess it's TikTok gold. Well, whatever, but get out. Okay, TikTok fans, I'm going to show you how to get your beach body just in time for spring break. That's why right, let's start off with some jumping jacks in this new year, new you. Um, you could do all that, or you could say whatever, and sit on your couch and eat lots of donuts, till your pants don't fit, till your stomach explodes. Sounds like the good life to me. Molly! You could have put another TikTok. Ha ha ha. 
I don't think I'm ruining them. Everybody loves my personality. Holy guacamole! Macaroni and cheese! Hot dogs with ketchup! Yeah, Marty, we get the point. Food, food, and food. I can't believe that our Tic Tac has 1.5 billion people that are fans. I know, right? This is amazing. We should go celebrate with, um, food. Molly, no. New Year, New You is all about healthy choices. And we could do something like yoga as a celebration. Is my sister kidding me right now? Like, seriously? Yoga? No, girl. You earn this. We're going for an ice cream. Well, they do have the frozen yogurt option, so I guess it's okay. Uh, Daisy, life is about balance. Sometimes that balance means eating ice cream. Don't be such an income poop. Molly! I'm just saying, sometimes you just really need to have an ice cream. And girl, you need one. Welcome to Sweet Tooth. What can I get for you? I have a scoop of everything. Molly, new you, new you. You mean new year, new you? Yeah, whatever. Get one scoop, Molly. Wow, who knew you were so bossy? Well, I am a health guru now. TikTok even said so. Oh, my God. It's Molly and Daisy. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. I'm such a huge fan. I have to go say hi to them. Did you just hear that? I think that girl knows who we are. Nah, it must be a different Molly and Daisy. We're not that famous. Hey, guys, it's Sarah. Welcome to my TikTok, and I'm here with Molly and Daisy, and hey, we didn't agree to be on your TikTok. Molly, come on, she's a fan. Don't be rude. Okay, well, she should have asked permission first. I, 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 I don't even look my best. Molly, you always look like that. Okay, but all right, she has a point. OMG, I can't believe it. This is amazing. What? You guys are famous and you're here at my at my ice cream shop? Woohoo, woohoo, woohoo! Um, yeah, we really are that famous, Daisy. Yeah, I realized that. Aren't you excited? New Year, new you on TikTok is doing amazing! It's blowing up! But Molly, everybody knows who we are everywhere now. Can I get your autograph? Yeah, me too. And I want a picture. And can you be in my YouTube video? And and also, can you come home and um just like sign my cat? How am I gonna sign your cat? Oh, it's it's a cat that doesn't have any fur, so you could use a sharpie. No, I'm not gonna sign the cat. Hi, yi yi. I just want my ice cream, and and I want to just go sit down. Daisy, are you okay? You seem like you're freaking out about being a celebrity. Because Molly, I am. But you wanted New Year, New You on TikTok. Yeah, but now that I got fame, I want to give it back. Come on, Molly. Let's just go home and hide out. Good idea if you don't want to be famous, which I kind of do. No, Molly, I'm telling you. I can always see into the future. Wait, you can't? Are you some sort of, like, magical human or something? No, I'm just really smart. And this, this isn't going to go well at all. Well, if you say so... I think being famous is amazing. Finally, home sweet home. No people talking about how famous we are or anything. Yeah, but seriously, don't you want to be famous? I don't know, Molly. Seems kind of crazy to just go places and everybody recognizes you. What if I had ice cream on my face during that girl's TikTok? Oh, you could be like me and don't care. I'm eating a donut right now. And I don't really care if anybody sees. Hi, um, I didn't get a picture with you guys, and so I followed you home. What? You can't follow us home. That's wrong and rude. <laughs> ha, ha, achoo! Ew, Molly, cover your nose. Sorry, I wasn't expecting to sneeze. Achoo! Molly, did you get sick? I don't know, maybe that fan had a cold, and she got super close to me and gave it to me. Ew, germs! Well, I think you better get used to it, because it seems like we're going to be mobbed by fans from here on out, we need a security camera. And maybe a fence. Whoa. What's that? Uh-oh. Oh, my God. It's someone who looks just like me because they saw my videos about how to do pigtails. Hey, I love you. I want to be just like you. <laughs> oh, my God. That's hot shoe. Creepy. Ugh. One of the fans definitely got me sick. I don't feel so good. Ugh. Molly, do you want a donut? Maybe it'll make you feel better. No, I don't want a donut. Now I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, that sounds so gross. Uh-oh. Whoa, she really is sick. 
If going to eat a donut's gonna make a throw up. Did you see that TikTok where Molly was like, don't work out, just like hang out and eat on the couch and <laughs> shove your face full of donuts? Yeah, I totally loved that one. It was hilarious. <laughs> we could be BFFs since we're such Molly and Daisy fans. I don't feel so good. Am I drooling? I don't know. I'm too busy over here vegging on the couch. Uh, 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 who got us sick? They aren't super fans. They're terrible fans. Hello, this is Bruce Springer for Action News. Today I have a breaking story. The new famous TikTokers Molly and Daisy are very sick. If you like reality TV, you're gonna love this one. Watch them puke! Watch them sneeze snot everywhere! Watch them run to the potty! Are you serious? Get out of our house! This one's obviously rude in real life. I don't know if you should like her. Oh, maybe unsubscribe. What? Don't tell people that! Rude! Get out! Molly, there's only one thing left to do. Run! I don't know if I can run. I gotta go potty! Oh, hello, adoring fans. It's me, Bruce Springer. Get out of the way, Bruce. I just want to be your friend. Come back, Molly. Come on. We could be BFFs. Get away from me, crazy Daisy wannabe. <laughs> huh, huh, huh. Come on. I could build a house right next door to you. It would be so much fun, right? No, stay away from me. Hurry, Molly, come down here into my science lab. Okay, I wasn't going to tell you about this, but I've been working on a new project. Is it quitting TikTok? Well, no, I mean, we're already famous at TikTok. Kind of hard to go back now, but I have a solution. Well, I hope it's a good one. Ha, ha, chew! Because I don't feel good, and I don't want Bruce Springer, like, putting me on the news when I'm sick. Achoo! Come here, Molly. I want to show you something. What is that? A giant person made out of jello? Sort of, Molly. I haven't quite finished programming it yet. But in a moment's time, you'll see what I'm up to. I don't know, Daisy. This seems a little like weird science to me. Uh, Daisy, I think you're cooking your jello, man. Don't worry, Molly, that th this is going to work. It just has to. Holy macaroni and cheese! It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a clone! That's right, Molly, and I'm making one for you, too. Which means next time, when someone thinks it's us, it won't be us at all! It'll be our clone! Watch this. Hey, Daisy Clone! Hey, I just want to let you know, you guys are the best fans in the whole world. See? Daisy Clone is amazing! I had to sit down for a minute. I'm a little lightheaded about how awesome I am to design this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's Daisy! Hi, hi! I'm your biggest fan. I'm even wearing Daisy pants because, you know, your name is Daisy, just like the flower. And oh my god, where's Molly? Hi, you're the nicest fans in the world. I love you. Whoa, she said she loved us. Did you hear that? I totally did. Oh my god, that's amazing. So, um, will you sign an autograph? Sure, I'll sign an autograph. You're the most amazing fans in the world. I love you. Holy guacamole! The Daisy clone is working! Now we just need a clone of me, and it's all smooth sailing. <laughs>
Oh, I gotta keep making it bounce. Oh, I ran into the wall. <laughs> I don't have any money right now, so I have to just keep starting from the beginning. Just going along, being a little bouncy bird. Molly, mom said you only had a couple of minutes. Daisy, quit telling me what to do. Oh, my sister is kind of annoying because she likes to tell me what to do. And really, she's not my mom, so she can't tell me for reals. Oh, I died again. Excuse me, Molly. I need to vacuum under your feet. No excuse for you. <laughs> okay, get vacuuming. Molly, you're so rude. I'd like you to see one day of how I go to school and how I do my morning and night routines and how you do it. Uh, no, that doesn't sound fun. And besides, I do plenty. Oh, uh, really? We'll see about that. My sister is the laziest person at the entire planet. Definitely entire Roblox. She is so lazy. And she never does her night routine, her morning routine, her school routine, or any routine except for playing on her phone. I'm going to expose her on Snapchat and she'll have no choice but to, well, see her evil ways. Hey, Daisy, what are you doing? Daisy, what are you doing? Daisy, what are you doing? Marty, quit, quit making me look ridiculous on Snapchat right now. <laughs> look at us. We look crazy. Uh... Molly, don't you have some homework to do or something? Who, me? No, I didn't need to do any homework. Molly, we're in the same school, in the same classes. We had homework. Uh-huh, yep, whatever. Woman goes missing for years. Holy guacamole, that's kind of crazy. What else? Uh, cooking channel? No, that just makes me hungry. Gymnastics, this looks good. Hey, Molly, what are you doing right now? What are you doing? Oh, um, just texting Pookie. Yeah, that's it. <gasps> I'm relaxing. Mom said we have to do a night routine. Night routine? What's a night routine? Molly! Um, this is my night routine. Chill on the couch, play on my phone, repeat. All right, where's my games again? I definitely got to try that bouncy bird one more time. So keep losing. Oh, why? <laughs> Molly, is that all you do is play that game? Pretty much. It's my life. Oh, I'm going to make it past this part. Ah! This game is so hard. All right. Um, what is wrong with me? I feel like such a bouncy bird noob. That time I actually made it. Oh! Ooh. I made it to two. Oh, let's keep trying. Um, Molly, don't you want to brush your teeth or take a shower or anything? We have school tomorrow. Your breath is going to smell really bad. Ah, uh, nah. I'm still going to play this game. Perfect. I have all the evidence I need that my sister's lazy. Well, I do all the chores, and I'm the good daughter. All I have to do is click this, and everyone's going to see it. Well, Molly, <sighs> be prepared. While I wait for my friend Megan to get here, I'm just going to make a cute little snap since I'm about to get some dog food for my new puppy. Oh, he looks so cute. Look at me. Hey, everybody. I'm getting a new... Um, well, I already got the puppy, but I'm getting some dog food and toys for my new puppy. He is adorable. Can't wait to show you guys him. Whoa, I'm getting new snaps. Hey, girl. What's up? Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm glad you came to the pet store and helped me pick out all these toys. No problem. I can't wait to believe that you got a puppy. That's amazing. Did you see that snap about that girl's Molly that goes to our school? What? No. What about it? Did she get a puppy too? No. She's just like so lazy. She doesn't do anything like ever except for sit on the couch while her sister Daisy does everything. Wait. Are you serious? She's really lazy? Yeah. Totally. Uh-oh. Ugh. Being that lazy is so gross. I know, right? She doesn't even brush her teeth or her hair or anything. Lame. Ew, gross. Yes. Dude, you ready to skateboard? Uh, look, Luke, I don't want to tell you this, but were you planning on asking Molly to the dance? Yeah, Bacon, why? Because, dude, she doesn't brush her teeth or her hair or anything. Gross. Wait, what? Yeah, look at her sister Daisy's latest snap. She's just sitting there on the couch, like, totally lazy. Whoa, I didn't know Molly was like that. Neither did I, but... Apparently, her sister said that she's like this all the time. I would really think about not asking her to the dance. <gasps> yeah, I'm going to text her and let her know that, um, I don't think so. Oh, I got a text. I wonder who from. It's from Luke. 
dear Molly, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be asking you to go to the dance because you don't brush your teeth or your hair. What? Daisy, did you tell Luke that I don't brush my hair or my teeth? Uh-oh. Daisy. Um, can't talk right now, Molly, but I may have made a Snapchat about how lazy you are. What? Daisy! Daisy, where are you? When I find you... Oh, my God, can't be here right now, Molly. Gotta go. Got lots of homework. Daisy, open the store right now. Well, Molly, only um, if you decide to not be lazy and leave all the chores to me. Daisy, open this door. Ugh. Molly, seriously, this is my room. You can't just come in here. Well, I did. You think that your night routine is so difficult? Well, why don't we just see about that? Why, you want to switch with me, Molly? I sure do, Daisy. Your night routine can't be hard at all. <laughs> okay, Molly, I'm going to go sit on the couch and play on my phone. Have a lot of fun doing all the homework, all the rest of the chores. There's dishes in the sink. Uh -oh. Also, the bathroom needs scrub. Ew, the toilet? <laughs> yep, you get to do it, Molly. Oh, man. Wanna scrub the toilet gross? Yeah. Can't be that difficult though. Ugh, it looks like there's doo doo in there. Gross! Well, this is one way to take care of the yuckiness in the toilet. Ah, just vacuum it out of there. See, that wasn't difficult at all. Uh, but I may have ruined the, ruined the vacuum because I think I sucked up lots of water and maybe a poop. <laughs> Wow, I never knew how great it was to be lazy. Lazy. I like being lazy. Molly, what are you doing? You can't sit down right now. Well, I just cleaned the toilet with the vacuum, and it was a lot of work. Uh-oh. What? You, how did you clean the toilet with the vacuum? I just sucked everything out of there. Molly, you probably ruined the vacuum. I'm hiding under the couch. I don't want to get caught by Mom. <laughs> It'll be fine. You can tell her I did it. I'm not ashamed that I wanted to clean the bathroom that way. Totally worked, too. Wow, this is a lot of dishes. Aww. Keep washing, Molly. No soap. What am I going to do now? Well, I guess I'll just put them away like this. No one will really notice if there's just a little bit of food on them. Right? I don't really even think they need to get washed. Or maybe I could call Gracie and Cleo, our dogs, to come in here and lick them. <laughs> That's an even better idea. Gracie, Cleo. Come on. Come lick these plates nice and clean. Yeah. Pretty clean. I mean, if you don't like dog slobber on your plate, I guess you could just not eat on one next time. <laughs> but I don't mind. A little dog slobber no never bothered me any. Finally, I can sit down and watch some TV. I don't think so, Molly. You still have to do all your homework. Oh, I know, right? Being mature is a lot of work. Oh, I can't wait to play this next game. This homework is so boring. Uh -oh. I'm gonna fall asleep. <laughs> Molly, wake up! What, 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 what? Don't be falling asleep and drooling on your homework. You're gonna fail. Everybody gets a D for drool. <laughs> well, Molly, how was switching night routines? Um, it was, it was easy as can be. Except for the fact that look at all this dust all over the bathroom. <sniffs> Ew, Daisy! I guess you're gonna have to clean this toilet again before you go to bed. <laughs> Ew, da Daisy! <laughs> this is just rude. I want my old routine back. I quit. <laughs> Buddy, you can't just quit. What are you doing? Nope, 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 nope. I quit. <laughs> Here's Molly saying that I'm lazy. Um, totally and completely. If you don't like that about me, well, I don't know what to tell you. I, I do, I do brush my teeth though, like every day. But I also play a lot of games. And I like to take snaps too. And I look so silly and cute. Aww. And that's way more important to me than cleaning all the toilets. So I guess I'll take my life back. No, Molly, I like your life better. Well, I'm gonna keep it. Wait, what? But, but, but I'm used to you cleaning everything. Yeah, and I'm used to you being lazy. So it looks like we're going to have to divide it up equally. Uh. Well, at least you can get some help and you'd have to do it all by yourself. Now you know how I feel. Okay, Daisy, but I'm not cleaning the potties. I'll do the dishes. Fine, Molly. 
it's a deal. Okay, class. Okay, everyone settle down. I know there's frogs on your desk, but trust me, they're not going to bite. Now, where's Molly? Is she late again? Oh, I don't want to have to give her detention. I'm not late. I'm not late. I swear it. I'm not. Molly, I saved you a seat. Come on, sit down. La, 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 la. Oops, I didn't mean to close the curtains. <laughs> uh, I just want to sit down in my seat. Oh, wow. Look at these frogs. I know. They're kind of cute, right? Um, yeah, they're pretty cute. Um, but are they going to bite me? I just got done telling the class no one's frog is going to bite them. Ew, frogs are like so gross and boring. Yeah. I'd rather read my, read my fashion magazine and pretend this wasn't happening. Sarah, please put the magazine away. Brookie and Molly, please stop talking. Oh, guys, this is the same stuff I tell you every single day in class. Why aren't you listening? All right, so Molly, I'd like you to go to the board, please, and answer number five from your workbook. Workbook? Workbook? What's a workbook? Uh-oh. She's not going to be very happy if you're playing dumb. I don't, I don't know what a workbook is, Mrs. Griffin. Molly, quit goofing around. You're being ridiculous, and I don't want to have to give you another detention. And I'll call your mom. <laughs> no, seriously. I have amnesia. I can't remember anything. Um, Molly, I don't think she's falling for that. You probably should go to the board. Oh, no. I didn't answer this question. I don't know what the answer is. Well, Molly, um, do your best guess, I guess. Um, duh, uh, <laughs> this looks super hard. Molly, did you actually do your homework last night? Um, well, uh, Molly. Sorry. I had soccer practice, and then I came home, and... I had to play this new Roblox game because it was amazing and Molly, ugh. I don't even know what to do with you anymore. I mean, I've given you enough detentions. You think you'd get the hint. My job is so hard. I think I'm just gonna quit and move to a deserted island where no one can bother me and I can eat pizza all day. <laughs> You're so funny, Mrs. Griffin. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Well, they don't grow pepperoni or cheese on an island. Ugh, I can't believe I'm in this class with these ignoramuses. Whatever, Sarah. You don't know anything about pizza. I know everything about pizza. Besides, Mrs. Griffin, what's so hard about your job? Ah, uh, you just have to sit at a desk and teach kids all day. It's not that bad. <gasps> oh, really? You don't think so? Okay. Why don't you teach the class today since you think it's so easy? Really? Um, eh, uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea. Uh -oh. oh, no, 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 no. You wanted this, so you get to do it, or else you're going to fail science for the year. Good luck! I'm out of here. Where have you been, loser? I had my gifted class this morning. It was amazing. We learned so much science. Why is Molly up at the desk, Sarah? And where's Mrs. Griffin? Oh, so glad you could join us and finally see the drama that's unfolding in front of our eyes. What drama? Mrs. Griffin, like, pretty much quit and made Molly become the teacher. Wait, what? Okay, class, everybody be quiet. I'm in charge now. <laughs> oh, God. We're doomed. <laughs> I'm going to be a great teacher. You just wait and see. Okay, let's just look at Mrs. Griffin's lesson plan. I can copy off hers for at least today, right? I hope. I think. Okay. Um. All right, everybody. Uh, take out your textbooks to page 45. And we're going to be learning about the anatomy of these gorgeous and slimy frogs that are currently on your desk. It says here that frogs are a member of a diverse and largely carnivorous group of short-bodied, tailless amphibians. And that, wait a minute, most frogs have a so small number of them have front teeth? Uh, but, but, I'm, wait, I'm just shocked right now. Most frogs have a small number 
of teeth in their upper jaws. Holy guacamole, no more English, no more math, no more crazy quantum sciencey blah, 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 blah. Throwing it all in the trash. Wait, what? We are going to do school Molly's way. <laughs> and in this school, everybody passes, no matter what. Because how can you fail Molly's school? Well, except for you, Daisy, you might fail Molly's school. Well, why? Because you're an overachiever. And in Molly's school, you're an underachiever. Watch my very first lesson. First things first, lay on the ground. Take a nap if you even want to. The teacher's very boring, don't you know? So there's your first lesson, everybody. I want to see you laying down, being lazy. This is graded, so try your hardest or your least hardest. School is so boring. Ugh, I just need to be lazy. Great job, Brookie. 96% on your laziness. Ugh, whatever. Okay, I'm at Molly's school. This is boring. Ugh. Um, Sarah, you could have put in a little bit more effort than that, but I'm still going to give you an 85 because you did pretty good. Sarah? Sarah? Wow, her grade just went up to 100. She actually fell asleep. Oh, wow, Sarah, you're amazing. Yeah, being lazy is not that hard. Daisy? I can't do it. Uh-oh. Daisy? Never give up and never surrender. You can do anything. <sighs> All right. I'll try. This feels so wrong, but here we go. Daisy, great job. One. Two. Daisy, are you doing sit-ups? What are you doing? No, no, that's not the point. Being lazy is the point. But I just thought while I'm laying on the floor, I can make that work for me by getting better abs and be healthier. Daisy, you get an ass. Wait. What? Why? Because, Daisy, I'm exhausted just looking at you. The, the, the whole point was to be lazy. Well, then I guess I failed Molly's class because I'm not lazy. This is who I am. <laughs> I can totally tell. All right, for the next test, eating in class. Who brought something delicious? I, I brought a chicken sandwich with cheese. Oh, it's so good. I got it from Chick-fil-A. Should I eat it? Will that make me pass? <laughs> no, the food's not for you, it's for me. Now everybody bring up your lunches up here if you want to pass. Molly, you are the worst teacher in the shh. Daisy, no one asked you. This is Molly's world, and I'm going to eat all of your lunches. <laughs> today. Where'd you get that? Um, I saved up my allowance and I bought it from the mall. Wow, I actually really like it, which is surprising because usually your fashion is, well, so last season. Oh, don't sound like a, such a snob, Daisy. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Molly. You look great. Thanks, Daisy. Girls, would you like some pancakes or something for breakfast? Don't you know it. That sounds delicious, Mom. Mmm. Getting hungrier just thinking about it. Well, too bad. I All I have is waffles. Oh. Well, waffles will do. That sounds good, too. Wow, Molly's in a really good mood. It must be her new outfit. I know. Doesn't she look so cute in it? Yeah, I really do feel pretty in it. Thanks. Maybe you could do something different with your hair, too. Just for a change. Mm, that's delicious. Nah, my hair is good enough. I keep thinking that I want to do something different with mine. I mean, the pigtails are cute, but what else is out there? There's a whole world of hell that I've never explored before. <laughs> Daisy, you're so crazy when it comes to fashion. Oh, no. There's the bus. Oh, Molly, you're going to have to take your waffle to go. Nonsense. I can eat it super fast. Watch this. See? Told you I could eat it super fast. Lightning speed! <laughs> Molly, why are you sitting on top of the school bus? That's so dangerous! Well, why are you driving it? Because it's Brookhaven. Anything can happen here. <laughs> I can't believe it. We're actually early to school. That's what happens when I don't make the bus late. <laughs> My bad. Come on, let's get to English class. La 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 la
get on the board. Must be the principal. They just know I'm so cool. Wait a minute. Isn't this the room that they have detention in? Yeah. Weren't you in detention last night? Uh. Yes. You wrote that on the board so we'd all see it this morning. Molly is awesome. Pfft, whatever. Whoa. Look at Charlotte's hair. If you didn't know, Charlotte is the new popular girl at my school. Sarah absolutely hates that she's so popular and beautiful. But we just think she's nice and super cool. Hey, guys. Good morning. Hey, Charlotte. I love your purple hair. It looks amazing with your makeup and your outfit. I love it, too. I was just thinking I could do something cool like that with my hair. Don't even bother. It's not that cool. Sarah, you're just jealous because Charlotte has beautiful purple hair and you don't. I would never dye my hair purple. That's like the dumbest thing ever. That's not very nice. Yeah, Sarah, that's not very nice, especially since she looks amazing. Don't worry about it, guys. I'm just ignoring the negativity. <laughs> that's what I do on social media, too. Whenever somebody says something mean on my TikTok, I'm like, whatever. You're such a keyboard troll. Yeah, exactly. Later that day. School's out forever. Well, not forever. Just till tomorrow, but I'll take it. Freedom! The smell of the air. The look of the sky. When you don't have to go to school. Uh, Molly, I have to run to the store for a few things. I'll be home later. Really? Uh, could you pick me up a chocolate bar? Sorry, Molly, can't. I have to spend my money on something else. Ugh, but I really want a chocolate bar. Dear Brookhaven game developer, why is there no CVS in this entire town? We people of Brookhaven need a drug store. Thankfully, Brookhaven grocery store does have hair dye. And I know exactly the color I'm going to pick. <laughs> a few hours later. <sighs> what a long day. I can't wait to eat this bean burrito as a snack. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. Leftover bean burritos from last night's dinner make the perfect after school snack. I can't even talk. The, the, the smell of it is just, mm, it's going to make me like pass out. It smells so good. Molly, you are so obsessed with bean burritos. Ay, ay, ay. Where have you been, Daisy? I told you I had to go to the store. Okay, well, um, I hope you got me a chocolate bar. I didn't. Ugh. You're the worst sister ever. Just kidding. You're a good sister. Just why can't you buy me things when I ask you to? Because I'm not your mother. <laughs> what will I look like with purple hair? I mean, I'm kind of afraid. I've had these pigtails and this color hair since I was a baby. I don't know if I'm going to look weird. I, I, I'm getting cold feet. I'm not sure that I could do this. It just seems like, I don't know, it won't be me anymore. Get it together, Daisy! You can do this! You're a fashionista! You, you can be as cool as Charlotte, the most popular girl at school. Yeah, that's that's what I'll do. I'll die it! Oh, I don't feel so good. Oh, why did I eat three, three bean burritos? I could have just ate one, but no! My eyes were definitely bigger than my stomach. Oh, there. There, I feel better. Oh, no! Nope! Gotta go! Gotta go, poo, poo Daisy, get out of the bathroom! I have to go! Sorry, Molly, occupy! Daisy! Seriously! I ate a bean burrito and I... <laughs> I have to go! <laughs> oh, Molly! No way! You're not poo-pooing in here! I gotta spend some time in here! That's gross! Well, I'll, I'll, I'll light a candle or something! Come on! Open the door! Molly, I said I'm busy! Daisy! Molly, get out! Daisy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Molly! What? I have to go! Ay, ay, ay. Hurry up. I've got things to do. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be here a minute. Ugh. Every time I promise myself that I won't eat any more bean burritos. This is exactly what happens. And every time I do it again and again and again. Ooh, 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 ah! Dear God, I promise I'll never eat a bean burrito again. Just make my stomach stop feeling like it's gonna explode! Molly, are you done in there yet? Did you eat another three bean burritos? Yes! And I'm being in real trouble for it! <sighs> okay, I think I'm done. Nope, not done! Hmm, that took a lot of work. Maybe I should go eat that last bean burrito. Molly, what are you doing? 
I'm gonna go eat a bean burrito. I'm hungry. Molly, don't you dare eat another bean burrito. What are you doing, Daisy? I'm gonna dye my hair. What? Purple? Yeah, but I'm afraid. I feel like everyone would tease me. Well, they might. Molly, thanks for the vote of confidence. But since you're afraid to do it alone, I'll dye mine purple too. Really? You do that for me? Of course, we're sisters. And even though I find you super duper uber annoying. Molly, well I do. You're still my sister, I love you, and you're one of my bestest friends. Aw, ditto Molly, you're my best friend too. Well, besides Brookie. Yeah, besides Brookie, but anyway, we can dye our hair purple together and walk into school together. Wow, Molly, this means a lot to me, thank you. You're probably gonna need a mask and some um, stuff on your hands so it doesn't dye your hands purple. Why, you don't want your hands to match your hair? That'd be so cool. Trust me, Molly, this dye would never come off. Okay, well, let's do this. Uh, maybe we gotta wait a half an hour. It kind of stinks in here. Ew, Molly! <laughs> Just enough time to eat another bean burrito. Don't even think about it. Well, Daisy, are you ready for this? The big purple hair reveal? I don't know, Molly. I'm kind of nervous. Don't worry. We're cool as anything. We're like cool as Charlotte, even. I mean, we have purple hair now, too. Yeah, but what if people tease us? Don't be ridiculous, Daisy. You look amazing. Come on. What is going on here? We have purple hair. Okay, you got my attention for like one second, losers. Ugh, oh, you look ridiculous. You're gonna be the laughing stock of the school. <laughs> what? I, I thought I looked good. Daisy, don't listen to her. She's going to in infect you with her evil words. Stop talking to us this way, Sarah. It's not nice. You look like a grape head. What's a grape head? What is that even? It's like the grapes you get at the store, only on your head. Sarah! That was rude! Get out of my way, grape head. I don't want to be late for class. Ugh, Sarah! Good morning, Molly! Whoa, your hair! It looks amazing! Wait, what's wrong? Why does your face look so angry? Because I am so angry! At me? What did I do? No, not you, Perky. Sorry, I didn't mean to, to seem like I was angry at you. I'm just angry because... <sighs> Daisy in the bathroom crying right now. She's so sad and hurt. Really? Why? Because Sarah teased us about our hair. I wasn't even going to dye my hair this color. I just did to support Daisy because she was so nervous when she came to school that everyone was going to tease her and her worst nightmare came true. Whoa, that's not okay, Molly. Not okay at all. Well... What am I going to do about it? I mean, it's Sarah. Don't worry, Molly. I'm going to help my BFF out. Definitely. Really? Of course, Molly. Don't worry about it. I'll make sure that it's all handled. So much on the agenda. So many school board meetings. Ugh. Ugh. When is it going to be the weekend? Excuse me, um, principal? Yes, Brookie. What can I do for you, honey? Um, I have to talk to you. I need to report some bullying. What? Someone is bullying in our school? Yes, and I'm sorry to report, but it's really bad. Oh my gosh, this sounds terrible. Tell me what's going on so I can report it. You mean record it? I mean, I'm reporting it to you and you're the principal. Who will you report it to? Oh yeah, <laughs> right, I'm recording it. Sorry, I haven't had my morning coffee. No problem, Principal. You see, my friends Molly and Daisy, they dyed their hair purple. Daisy was very nervous about coming to school and getting teased, but she wanted to dye it. And when Sarah saw them, she called Daisy ugly. And when they asked her to stop, she wouldn't stop. What? This is a serious bullying offense. I will speak to Sarah and handle this. Thank you for coming and reporting this so I could record it on her record. Um, thank you, Principal, for helping me and my friends. I'm always here for you. Never forget that. Students can always come to me if they have a problem. Thank you, Principal. Have a great day, Brookie. You too. Hope you get some coffee. Attention, attention. Will Sarah please report to the principal's office? Sarah to the principal's office. Ah, oh, now I have to put this record into Sarah's permanent record. This is not good. What do you want? Well, first of all, a better attitude would be wonderful. 
But I can't ask for too much, I guess. Second of all, were you bullying Molly and Daisy Acker about their purple hair? Well, yeah, it looks lame. So you admit that you were actually bullying them. Uh, I didn't think it was bullying. It was just telling the truth. Sarah, sometimes you're telling the truth is rude and bullying. And I have no choice but to give you detention for a week. Wait, what? Yeah, detention for an entire week. I hope this makes you think twice about bullying your classmates. This is so unfair! Well, don't bully and you won't get detention. And I am making a note of this on your permanent school record. Oh, seriously? My dad's gonna have a fit. He's not even gonna let me drive the Ferrari to school. Well, he'll probably ground you. And you may deserve it, right? Because you were bullying? Fine. Now go back to class and try to have a good day. And I'll try to do the same. Ah. <sighs> Where's my coffee? Oh, look, there's purple haired Daisy. I'd hold your tongue, Sarah, unless you want another week of detention. Uh, it looks great. Really? You think so? Sarah. Um, it, it, uh, okay, I'm just gonna do my homework. Um, okay, yeah, me too. Thanks for not bullying me for a change. I'm so glad that I could help my friends. Good morning, Daisy! Wow, you sound like you're still tired, Molly. And I don't know why, because it's almost noon. How late do you need to sleep anyway? Why are you eating a carrot for breakfast? <laughs> I'm trying to eat healthy, Molly, because I have a dance competition today, and I want to do my best. Then you should have eaten a cupcake. That would have given you lots of energy. <laughs> Molly, cupcakes are terrible for you. <laughs> Everybody knows that. If you want to win a dance competition, you have to eat healthy. Ah, dance competition. Does that mean I have to go and watch? Boring! Rude, Molly. My dance competitions are amazing. You take that back right now. Um, no. <laughs> They're a real snore fest. <laughs> Molly! Oh, fine. Anyway, Molly, you don't have to go along. What? That's right. Mom and Dad said you could stay home alone today while I'm at the competition. What? The whole house to myself? Ah, this seems like the most amazing thing ever. What are you going to do while I'm gone today? Oh, I don't know. Probably just hang out, watch a little TV. Uh-huh. Will you really just watch a little TV? Yeah, absolutely. What else would I be doing? I don't know, Molly. Would you be going into my room and getting into my stuff? Huh? No. Why would I do that? Um, I don't know, Molly, because maybe you're a mean sister like that. Hey, don't call me a mean sister. I, I didn't, I'm not going to do that. I'm just, I'm going to go watch TV and, and eat some carrots or something. Uh-huh, sure. Okay, well, Molly, I've got to go to my dance competition. I'll see you later. Bye! So glad I don't have to go. <laughs> hey, guys, what's up? It's me, Daisy. Shh, I have to be very quiet right now because I'm going to tell you guys something. Do you see this camera up here in the corner? Yeah, I installed those this morning before Molly got out of bed to spy on her while I'm at my dance competition. <laughs> because I think she's going in my room and reading my diary. Daisy, is that you? Are you still here? Oh, I have to be really quiet, guys. So, let's watch Molly and Spyano today and see what she does when she's home alone. <laughs> Sayonara, Daisy! <laughs> oh, man, it's raining and I'm riding my scooter. Oh. <laughs> ah, the whole house to myself. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be so quiet without my sister and so much less annoying. What should I do first? The first thing I want to do is eat a ton of snacks. What kind of snacks do we have in here? Um, let's see. Fruit salad, bacon, tacos, cookies! <laughs> Sounds delicious. Let's go make some cookies. Let's go make some cookies. Have I told you that cookies are my absolute favorite thing in the whole world? 
Yeah, they totally are. First, I've got to mix all the ingredients, which is going to be pretty delicious. Mmm, I can't wait to eat it. Stirring, 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 stirring! Oh, wow, and I've got to form them into balls because if not, there'd just be like one giant cookie, which, I mean, wouldn't be such a bad thing, right? <laughs> I am so hungry right now. Like, seriously, I want to eat all of these cookies. Get in my belly! Time to bake them! Is it done yet? Is it done yet? Is it done yet? Is it done yet? <laughs> hmm, while I'm waiting for my next dance to start, I wonder what Molly's up to. <laughs> Let's spy on her. What? What is that? Does Molly have cookies? Mmm, these cookies are delicious. She better not eat that whole plate. She better save some for me. Oh my god, these are so delicious. I'm gonna eat all of these chocolate chip cookies. And I'm not even gonna care or save any for my sister. <laughs> oh, Molly! Oh, wait a minute. She can't hear me because I'm spying on her. Oh boy, these are so, so good. Hmm. I don't know why everybody always says you get a stomachache when you eat too many cookies. Not me! My stomach's like, yeah! <laughs> ah, so delicious. Hmm. What? They're almost all gone? Oh, sad. <laughs> Maybe I should make another another bunch of these. Nah, I think I know exactly what I'm going to do. I can't believe she ate all those cookies. Rude. Wait a minute. Now let's see what's happening. She says she has an idea. She's going to go in my room and she's going to, she's going to read my diary. And I'm going to catch her red-handed. And, I, 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 and then I'll have proof. Yeah, definitely have proof. <laughs> I could get on my new TikTok account. And I could try out some of their dances. I mean, since nobody's watching. <laughs> and I, I've never done a TikTok video before. So, um, I don't know how good I'm going to be at it. And I don't want anybody to laugh at me. So, yeah, let's see what's on TikTok. do that dance oh yeah this could be the best tiktok video ever <laughs> look at me go <laughs> molly's tiktok dance is funny looking <laughs> she's not very good <laughs> and i thought she was reading my diary this whole time Turns out she's trying to be a TikTok star. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Doing TikTok videos is exhausting. <sighs> I think I need a nap. Then I'll go right back to it and practice some more. <sighs> Who knew being a TikTok star would be so hard? I thought it was going to be easy. I mean, the videos are only one second long. <laughs> well, not exactly one second, but they're super short. I just need a little rest. It's time to do another TikTok dance. <laughs> I think I'm really starting to get ha the hang of this TikTok thing. I mean, look at me go. <laughs> I look so awesome. I'm gonna be a TikTok star. Oh yeah, I've got the moves. I've got the moves! Hey, wait a minute. Wh what's that up in the corner of the room? Oh my gosh. Is Daisy spying on me? Oh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna go to another room where, where there's not one. Oh my, or maybe I'll go outside. Guys, I think my sister installed cameras to, to spy on me while she was gone. Can you believe that? Okay, yeah, I'm totally getting back at her. I'm totally getting back at her. Hey, where's my sister? Where'd she go? She disappeared off the cameras. Oh my gosh, I wonder, I wonder if she's in my room. I need to switch cameras and see. Where is Molly? I don't see her anywhere. I, 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 I'm going to check the camera in my room. Okay, I don't see, I don't see anybody in her room. Okay, let's check the camera in my room. 
Dear Diary. Hmm, reading da Daisy's diary seems like the best idea to do while Daisy isn't home. What? You read in my diary? Money! Oh, wow. She likes Luke? Oh, I'm going to tell everybody. Oh, Molly, I do it. I do it. Oh, my gosh. I have to go home right now. <laughs> ah, I love reading Daisy's diary. Oh, I'm going to bounce on her bed. Wee! Molly! <laughs> Molly! Oh, here comes Daisy. Uh-oh. Going to hide in her bathroom. It's the place. I don't know where else to hide. I'm hiding behind the door. Molly, where are you? I'm home, and I want to talk to you about something. Oh, yeah? I want to talk to you about something. Well, I want to talk to you about something. Um, Daisy, do you want to explain something to me? What? What am I going to explain, Miss Diary Weedle? Yeah, exactly. What are these, Daisy? What are those? What's that up there? What's what? Um, a security camera, Daisy? Really? Well, I thought you were going to read my diary while I was gone. And, you know, you can be a pretty, pretty ma mean sister sometimes. Daisy! All I wanted to do was, well, I wanted, you wanted to make TikTok videos. <laughs> they were really funny. <laughs> what? No. You didn't see me make TikTok videos. Yes, I did, Molly, and I'm going to share them all over YouTube and all over TikTok. Look, I'm Molly doing the Molly TikTok dance. Daisy, you stop that right now. <coughs> you made me... <coughs> I'm choking. I'm so mad. <laughs> Bye, Molly. Well, I know that you like Luke, and I'm going to tell everybody. What? No, you don't. You didn't read that, Molly. Yes, I did. Well, I'm going to tell everybody <laughs> to go to your TikTok. What? No, I'm not ready. I'm not. Daisy, I am not ready to be on TikTok yet. I have a lot more practice to do. Nope. You, I already made you an account. The Star Squad Molly. <laughs> Daisy!